Yo, I felt like um, <laughs> for a minute I should have been doing, was it the river dance? Is that what they call it? It's the Irish jig, darling. Oh, <laughs> the, the jig, the river dance, the river walk, whatever it is. The river walk. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Hello, hello, hello. Top of the day to ya. Yeah. Is that what they say in Ireland? Yes. Top of the day? Top of the, not, well, it's not the no, morning. No, that's the wrong one. Is it's, it? It's not the morning, so top of the day. I should have put a disclaimer that anything that we say could be out of line with traditional holidays and whatnot, but welcome to the Sunday Sip, where it is Sunday. And we sip. I go by the name of Terry. And I am Addie. And we are glad to have you here on this St. <laughs> Patty's Day. This is like one of those holidays where even if you're not Irish. You get to have fun. You just drink. <laughs> And you drink senselessly. Yes. This is like one of the bartenders' like worst, worst holidays. Nightmares. Yeah. Or if you live in a city that just happens to celebrate it immensely, like man. Savannah. Oh man! Right now, down there, <laughs> Savannah, it is, Boston, all those kind of places. Loving you if you are from one of those places or celebrating. Mad turn right now. Yes. Yeah. Even in the rain, Savannah is probably still going hard. Everything's right now. green. <laughs> Elaine coming in hot. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you for that super chat. All right. So totally we get, appreciate it. We're going to get into it today and have a little fun. But before we... No, no. Let's go ahead. Do, let's let's do the house cleaning and then we'll get started. Yes. Okay. So first, yeah. if you are new, welcome. <laughs> He's just ready to get ready. Hey, man. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. We appreciate you being here. If you have a question, hit the Q or the... Um, why am I... I'm sure. I'm, there we I go. got you. I got you. The Q, okay. Q colon or the word <laughs> question before it in the comments, and we will be sure to get to it because this is a Q and A of all things travel and cruising. Yep. Um, also, make sure you are hitting that thumbs up. That is what we call the doorbell. You may yep. see that down in the chat somewhere where people say and be doorbell like, what is in the world wrong. Are they talking about? We are talking about hitting that thumbs up because you don't want to come to someone's house party sneaking in the back door. You're going to ring the doorbell like a civilized human, and that is our doorbell. So make sure that you are hitting that thumbs up button on your way in as we see the thumbs just go bing, 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 because <laughs> everybody forgot to hit the doorbell. So do that if you are from a crew or if you are from are ch tuning in while you are on vacation thank you thank you thank you because you could be doing anything and or working really hard <laughs> right, right. and you are chiming into us today so thank you we appreciate you and uh, of course, the Sunday sip would not be the sip without the cocktail without the sip of, of the day, which oh, we're going to get into in just a little bit. So if you do not know what the cocktail of the day, we try to keep it simple because we didn't want to go too crazy. Yeah, we ain't trying um, to go too so crazy. So we're going to do a, a riff on a margarita. Because we love a margarita. We're going to do an Irish margarita. Uh, you can find the contents to that cocktail on our community page, or you can simply just, uh, if you're on IG, you can check it out right there. We'll be making that in about 15 to 20 minutes or so. Ooh, uh, new thing. You got something new? Yes. Also, okay. if you are one of our members or patrons, if you are on the third tier, which I forgot what we're calling them now. <laughs> but if you are a member or a patron, you will get a PDF of all the drinks that we are preparing each month. Yeah, that way. So uh, <laughs> one of the benefits of becoming a member as we yes. rebrand, recalculate and reset yes. The yes. Addie and Terry channel. We're glad to have all our diehards like Kelly Angel, Tony in the house saying happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Hope one, everyone's having a day. She's got a little shamrock on there. Shout out to <laughs> Harry. Stop Ding it dog. in. Shakita Kita Bia in the house saying hey. what's up to the Sunday Sippers. Glad to have you in here. Regina said the music choice for the day <laughs> was on one. Shamika 4040, happy Sunday to you. Also, Tanya Q uh, and uh, a couple of people remind reminding about the doorbell. Reminding? Remind <laughs> I may have had it. It is St. Patty's had, Day. Have you had shots um, already? <laughs> toilet in the house. What's going on? Shout out to Don. Beautiful. Uh, so many people checking in from yes. all over these United States. Yes. Celebrating Our Saint ride Patrick's or dies Day. and our loyal uh, Sunday sippers. Yeah. The sippers. The sippers. That's Walden in the house <laughs> saying St. Patty's Sunday sip. Hello, that's, that's, Addie and Terry. That's very proper that's yeah, a that's very not, that's not the right one that's a very what a literal or uh 
Lots of S's. Yeah. St. Patty's Saint Sunday. St. Patty's Sunday, Sunday sip. sip. <laughs> Sydney says happy Sunday. Alliteration, that's the word. St. Patrick's Day, Addie, Terry, and the Sippers. Doorbell is wrong. Davia coming in strong, saying absolutely oh, she love looks your new. vibes and content. And if she is new, then guess burr, what burr, she burr. gets? Yeah. She says, I, I love your vibes and content. You guys are amazing. Let the sipping begin. Let it begin. Yes. On that note. It, well, before we even get going, man, Terry, cheers. Because Terry. Today, Terry said drinking senselessly. <laughs> no, it's actually called Black Irish. I know, but you said to drink senselessly. So here's the first shot to drinking senselessly on yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Mm-hmm, but good. It is good, but oh Shout my out God. to Taryn in the house. Oh, salted caramel. Okay, that's why it's so sweet. Yeah, Black Irish cream. It's a cause for celebration. So not sponsored, but this is what we're sipping on today. A little, um, this is Mariah Carey's Irish (laughs) cream, if that makes sense. You've probably seen it on the sip a couple of times. Yeah, we drink that. Uh, Let's see, Harry said, I just remade last year's sip means my St. Germain's is a year old. Then you need to use it more often. Leslie Trent, what's going on? Welcome to the sip. Shout out to Lisa in the house. Hey, hey. Two Lisas, Lisa Miller and Lisa Lisa. Jameson. So Lisa, Lisa. Lisa ready? Moni to the T. Hey, Moni. John Marshall in the house, what's going on? He said, I started sipping early, but I'm still down. Good for that. See, St. Patrick's Day. Let's see, your mom's in the house. (laughs) Saying, looking good, pudding. Hi, Mom. Shout out to Gather We Travel. So many people uh, in the chat, if we don't get a chance to physically call you out, man, just know it's all love, and we are glad to have you here. Now, what, you about to say something? No, I just said we love you. Oh, yeah, that way. So, so much stuff. So much, so much. Let's see. What? Oh, before we get that, Kevin Tasha says, lacking the necessary food coloring, but I'm still sipping. It's all good. Oh, no, we, we got you green. Don't. We got you. <laughs> we, we, got we got the green drink. You'll don't 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 worry. <laughs> uh, Tanika Davis says, "Hey Terry and Addie, my sis and I watch your videos and so excited to go on our first cruise in May." Oh but- right, first you get a burr, 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 burr. Yep. because your name looks new. Sorry if you're not new, but thank you so much. And for your first cruise, where are you going? What cruise line? Yeah, what did you choose? Let us know down in the comments below. Because really wow, appreciate that. That's that's a big step. So a lot of stuff went uh, has been going on in the last couple of weeks in the world of cruising. Yes. Uh, in particular, our good friends across the pond have been having a little bit of drama uh, with uh, MSC. Right? And you guys know for uh, a good little bit of our sips, we were like super fans of the brand MSC. But since uh, no the gender. pandemic, uh, things have kind of changed. And mm-hmm. we don't quite feel that way anymore. Um, not just because of what happened to, to Ben and David, but because our own experiences here as of late that we shall be talking about uh, coming up real soon. But uh, uh, if you did not know... Give uh, the backstory. Ben and David basically went on board um, MSC World Explorer on their own dime, their own money. Europa, um, not Explorer. Yeah, Europa. <laughs> I'm thinking all the E's. <laughs> Everything's starting to blur. Yes. Um, but they went on board and, you know. Did their thing. It was their, it was their return back from their worst cruise ever, which, you know, was no secret to the channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they spent their own money. They went on board and um, mm-hmm. everything seemed to be going well. In the first video, no issues. No issues. They're Second. actually giving good reviews. and. Second video, we yeah. find out that um, they go to the Yacht Club. Yeah, because they booked Yacht Club. Having a great time in the Yacht Club. Good time. And it was at that moment when they said <laughs> things went left, I, I immediately knew. He did. He figured it out. I knew what the problem but was. But that's Terry. Off rip. Because they went from having, you know, a great time and all the crew and staff just having an amazing time to mm-hmm. a complete skirt. about face. Skirt, skirt. So basically, <laughs> you know, they put out a post saying that, you know, they were banned from being able to film. Censored. Censored even yeah. on on MSC, and mm-hmm. that just created an uproar in, in the, the cruise in community. The cruise community, those that uh, you know cruise MSC, those that don't, those that follow them, those that follow everybody else, and everybody kind of jumped on the whole deal. Well, it was not MSC holding a grudge, as as some of you may have thought, like I did. I thought yeah, it was probably the management. Knowing who they were and going in and saying, oh, I'm not going to let them do anything to badmouth my company. But that is not what had happened. I knew what that was. 
That was rip. not what had happened. I said that was either a Karen or a Ken. And sorry if you are named Karen or Ken. Yeah, <laughs> but, 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 but I immediately <laughs> said that was a Karen or a Ken because they were in the yacht cub complaining that, hey, they're out here filming. I don't want to be on I the camera. I do not want to be on camera. And... Uh, that's when happened. they made the announcement after, you know, their, their little follow up to keep everybody uh, what's going on. That's exactly mm-hmm. what the case was. Mm-hmm. Um, but with that being said, MSC was a little bit foul in their initial response. Yeah. And it took somebody another level up to try to come back and fix it because that's a big black eye on a brand on that's everything. already struggling. Yes, because they told them they could not film at all, even to take personal pictures with their cameras. They said no filming whatsoever. Right. And, and one of their responses for Ben and David's responses was what about little Joe and little Susie taking pictures with their cell phone? Oh, they're okay. Like there's people right here next to me right now (laughs) taking pictures and video with their stuff. But But you, you you cannot do it. So they felt some type of way, which they were right to do. Yeah. I would have felt some type of way too. Cause you know, that was going to have implications. I could see that like, Becoming a big thing, big thing, not only for them but for all future uh, creators. You know, yeah, anybody with a camera that's out trying to do content, mm-hmm. uh, that could have been a huge problem. And mm-hmm. I, and I, you know, knowing them personally, we know all the precautions that they take to yes. make sure that nobody uh, is offended or it, you can even see you, them in their shot. They are very yes. meticulous when it comes to shooting versus a lot of people that just grab a camera and, and, and it's just like, you know, because technically, if you are filming. You're you supposed to get a release from every single person that is in your video. And of course, nobody got time for that. Nobody does that. Um, so if you are a content <laughs> creator, just, you know, be Keep aware. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, you know, try your best practices to try as much as possible to either alert people to the fact that you're going to be filming in the mm-hmm. area or try to blur them out uh, mm-hmm. with your equipment if you can, because that can become or a post, problem yeah. because not everybody uh, there might be some secret people out there, you know, or just people that you know they can't, yeah, for legal reasons. <laughs> for they can't legal be reasons, seen can't on, be seen on camera and stuff. Or they're supposed to be at work and they. Go. <laughs> yeah, man. but uh, that was a lot of drama. So I want to know down in the comments when you guys first saw that video, what did you think immediately? Did did mm-hmm. you think that MSC was actually going after? Uh, ben and David because of what happened in the past and they were just singled out or did you kind of feel like there was something in the water something sinister going on that was uh like yeah this ain't kind of right I kind of want to see how how people feel but I called it I told you Terry called it that was as soon and and he called it because we have sailed yacht club in both America and in Europe just like Ben and David and we have felt that yeah to where they were like oh why are they in here <laughs> you know, like a double-edged sword. Like, why are you in here? Then why are you in here doing that? Why are you in yeah. here with that? So we have felt it. So Terry called it right away. I personally tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and like, no, it wasn't anything like that. Maybe it was just a manager that was just like, no. And they said, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> to the finger sandwich. <laughs> yeah, because that that was that was really, really, really wild. Yeah, that, that it was happened. that it was so surprising for it to be so specific right. for people for the 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 managers that handled the situation one to handle it so wrongly. Yeah, that way. But for a guest to come in and actually be like, I do not want to be filmed. So no filming. Right. Then don't be in the way. <laughs> Which is actually a thing. Like when we have toured before, yeah. but it was a tour, so we weren't actually on board. But when we have toured certain parts of ship within a ship concepts or the elite or the suites or things like that, mm-hmm. it has been, okay, there's no filming because one, it's people with a lot of money mm-hmm. because you could pay upwards of ten to twelve, fifteen thousand dollars for those suites. Right, right. And so people with money want to not be bothered. And I get that. And the whole paparazzi type of thing. I get that. So that's what I was thinking. That they were like, okay, no filming. Yeah. But they said no filming anywhere on the ship. So So Tashandra Roberts came in with a comment. She says they were targeted. If they got a complaint, they could have easily said that. Exactly. And that's my thing. Instead of going through all those hoops with them, they, they could have just, just pulled them to the side I'm like, yo. and said, hey, guys, 
Um, we're getting a complaint mm-hmm. from some of the, the Yacht Club guests mm-hmm. that would like not to be on camera. Mm-hmm. Could you? Yes. Not the way that they were treated like they were yeah. second rate citizens on a cruise that they, they actually paid for. Paid for. So, and that's another thing. So this guest is better than me because... Right. I'm I paid for this. Right. I'm a yacht club guest too. So you're gonna treat me like I'm a criminal. <laughs> That's I'm my part. Minding my own business, <laughs> filming me doing my and job my, and, and my husband. Yes. And, and and I'm not, you know, asking people questions. I'm not putting the camera nope. in front of them. I'm not And if you've seen any of Ben and David's yeah, work, you you know that they purposefully, the way that they film, they do tight shots. So you only really see their heads. You don't really see the, the the ship or the people on the ship unless they're really tiny or blurred out. So Yeah, they shoot at one point two or one point yeah, four if you know so, if you know cameras that way that the background is kinda like right now. You kind of see what's behind us. You see us, the bottles, but, but you, you can't, can't the read name, the you bottles. Can't read the bottles, you don't know. <laughs> you um, just know we got a lot of liquor. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I think that was just kind of we, we think it's kind of wild. Um, that that happened to him, but it's good to see that you know at least MSC kind of tried to fix it. I, I I'm still like, nah. There's not a way to fix it. Nah, they I'm, probably will never cruise MSC nah, ever. At again. that point, I don't care if you gave me a free yacht club by myself, gave me a ship by myself. <laughs> I, I I couldn't. No. <laughs> and that that is why they left. They actually ended their cruise early and left because they said it was just way too awkward. Yeah, man. I, you know, I, because and then the, the, the purpose of them cruising was to do their job, yeah. was to do a review. So they, they said even if it was only three days left on the cruise, they, they were like, nah. Yeah. We so don't. with that said, because there's always a counterpoint to that. I don't want people to think that now MSC is like the the the, the evil <laughs> witch of cruising. <laughs> Um, because, you know, it, it only takes a couple of uh, bad uh, apples to spoil the bunch. Right. And that's apparently what took place. A few bad apples kind of, mm-hmm. you know, spoiled it. Mm-hmm. Um, but for what MSC is, it's still a very, affordable. very affordable um, value for your dollar cruise. Mm-hmm. However. And really good for families. Um, mm-hmm. They're not ready for they're- the U.S. yet. I mean, they 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 came in and basically said that you know we're gonna we're an Italian cruise line. We're always gonna be an Italian cruise line. But you, you're over here, and there's certain things that we're used to from our cruise lines mm-hmm. uh, that are based. And we ain't here. changing. Uh, nah. So you know, <laughs> I, you know, we, we we're not we're never hosted by MSC. They've no. never given us anything. We've no. always supported the brand. So if, if there's a representative that just happens to be watching, I'm Hi. sorry, but y'all got a lot of stuff to fix. Yeah, because over the years. We, we have always been an advocate for MSC. Yeah. But since the pandemic and... and, and We've sailed and 15 times on Carnival. We've sailed at least eight times on MSC, on MSC multiple ships. That's our second yes. highest sailed cruise line. And but the quality of the, the yeah. cruise line, not just the ships, because the ships themselves are gorgeous. Yeah. But the quality of the actual cruise line, meaning management down, has changed since... Yeah pandemic there's there's a lot of stuff that we were like um fans of and, and we're gonna have a video coming out given mm-hmm. our um our impressions of how we felt so stay tuned over the <laughs> over the time it, it's not all you know it's not all happy and glorious unicorns and leprechauns and pots of gold anymore uh, but <laughs> uh yeah be, be looking out for that uh let's see elaine says maybe somebody was on there without their wife or husband and they're with their side piece and didn't want it publicized. Ooh, I, that could y'all, have been y'all, a reason. That happens way, way more than you think. Oh, man. <laughs> man, y'all. <laughs> I got some stories. Man. But that happens way more than you think. That needs to be one of our cruise, cruise. Uh, what do you call it? Under, well, we'll come up with it. <laughs> Let's see. Sydney <laughs> says they should have said something from day one, not day four. And have casual conversation about their channel. Then the fourth manager says no filming. Crazy. Yeah, it, it was just out the blue. It was completely wild how management yeah. handled that. Yeah. Completely out the blue. Yeah. No warning, no or excuse me, do you mind? You can't film here. Yeah. 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 And you're gonna be following. To me? the point where Don't poor Ben me. was Ben was like, <laughs> like Ben was shaking because on the virtuosa. 
they did follow them and track yeah. them and everything. So he's like, PTSD. Man. <laughs> Poor thing. Let's see. Toyla <laughs> says, I felt like it was a Karen, but also it seemed they went and researched them and saw the previous videos, and that's why they got the extra. Uh, they could have. I um, think so. I mean, if I'm, I'm a manager and I, don't, I really don't know what's going on, and one, I've got this bugaboo in my ear complaining... And they probably complained a lot a to lot. them to the point where they got agitated, and that's where the They're attitude came from. They're just like, you know from. what, just just stop. And they probably <laughs> were like, yeah, you see, they, they go look at their channel. They got this thing where they talk about they hate MSC and that without knowing the whole story. But still, that is no um, excuse for how management treated paid mm -hmm. people were handled on their ships. So yes, MSC, you need to have some management training. Uh, some personality and temperament training with mm -hmm. your team um, mm -hmm. on how to handle situations like that, regardless if it's in the yacht club or it's in uh, general pop. I mean, that sounded weird. That's if it's on the, you know, if it's outside of the, <laughs> the yacht club, it's not the prison yard. <laughs> that's, that's how you feel though when you do the like prison yard. When you do we like the yacht club and all the other ones, and then you go back into the regular ship, you you're feel like, like oh. you're getting released. You know that oh. that's a way to you know tie it in. I'm just saying. And and the way MSC Yacht Club is, you really do feel separate yeah. from the rest of the cruisers. Right. <laughs> They're like, oh, the general population. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ken Hill 33 says they were definitely targeted because they asked about other people taking pictures while being questioned. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Christy Baker says my favorite saying, don't take no from someone who doesn't have the authority to say yes. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay. I would have gone up the ladder before I leave my money behind. I would have too, baby. True. true. I, I, I would have stayed in my room and just stayed in Yacht Club. Right, I would enjoy the rest of it. And, I and, would not have gotten off that shit. And, and continued <laughs> to let them know yes. what was going and on. And if I felt the need to take a picture, I would, you better believe I would have had my phone out taking pictures. Because I've been like, go stop little Susie over there who's six years old with an iPhone. Mm -hmm. How you going to pour up one shot, bro? I ain't no use ready. <laughs> but yeah, I would have been like, okay, you got to go stop every little person or everyone out here on this cruise ship that holds close to 10,000 people yeah. from taking pictures with their iPhone. Yeah, man. Carla laughing when you said <laughs> we got a lot of liquor. We do. We, we no, got a lot of liquor. you ain't seen the liquor this, over this here is, in this the is cabinet, literally just in the back room. What you can see. Yeah. We have so much liquor man, in this house. If y'all ever come to the house, we're going to have one heck of a party. This is, we have so much liquor. See, Path of Engine <laughs> said, and security was aggressive towards that them. part. That part, too. Like, come on, man. What do I, I got a camera. It's a camera. Why are you trying to manhandle me because I got a camera? It's a camera. Come on. Man. Come on. Q Creation says, MSC, messy sometimes cruise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can take that, man. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Hold on, bro. Let me see. Shout out to MSC, the Messy Sometimes <laughs> Messy cruise. Sometimes Groove. Mm hmm. Yeah, wait. That is so sweet. Shay S in the house. What's going on, girl? Hey, boo. Let's see. Uh, our good friend Olamar Press. I always say that wrong. Olamar Pressful. There you go. Says, hi. Glad <laughs> to be on your show. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, Gina comes through and says, the whole thing was messy. Someone else's problem should not conflict with my good time either. I enjoyed my Yacht Club experience on MSC. It was awesome. Exactly. And that it is. We, we honestly, we've only had like maybe two experiences ever on MSC that, including our last two sailings, mm -hmm. that's the, the last two sailings, are the only two experiences on MSC where we've had a questionable time. It wasn't like it was a bad cruise or right. just a bad experience. It was just like, why they do that? Yeah, we noticed things had changed. Like, or why or, they or changed Or things it. that they used to do, or, they stopped doing. Yeah, or, which were good things. Yeah. That were good things in their favor, but they stopped doing them. So it's like, why why y'all do that? Let's see, Carla <laughs> says, question, would you go back on MSC to film a ship again? Yes. Yes. Just to prove, just to. <laughs> Not even to prove a point. Yes. I, I would, just because I'm petty like that. Yes. <laughs> but Yes. I'm like, we have an entire, we have a whole group cruise coming. We're so, going yes, on, we... we're going on world America <laughs> and I dare them. Oh Lord, look at you. You'll be sitting right in, in, in the yacht club <laughs> with no camera. <laughs> Jarita <laughs> says, yes. I wonder if things will change when the seascape comes to Galveston in 2025. I think 
I, I think that because so much light was shed on MSC uh, and not in their favor, I think they, I hope they have learned that they need to have some training on board their ships. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think that they need to go back and, and retry. Yeah. To, 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 because they, I mean, and even because Ben and David aren't even American, they're British yeah. and the sailing was a med sailing. So I don't even, you can't even say it's just because they're new to America. It's, it's all of management oh, yeah. just across throughout the board. MSC <laughs> needs to get better training on how to deal with cus- deal, their customer service, because yeah. that's where the complaints are. The complaints aren't with the crew. The no. complaints are 95% with the management. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what they're, they're teaching them and training them on, but they, they definitely need to change that up. Um, like quick, like, cause you know, had that been the wrong one? Oh, they would have went. Oh, oh and you know what I mean by had that been the wrong one? <laughs> and a lot of y'all out there watching right now know what I mean by if that had been the wrong one. Oh, the videos and the conversations it would be much completely different. different. Uh, let's much, see. Much different. Uh, Jaretha says the thing to me was they were asking what the channel name was so they could look them up. Yes. <laughs> Shakita said General Pop. I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, man, Jim Pop. <laughs> What's up, Trino? Um, let's see. Tanika Davis says, based on what I've heard, no need to sell MSC. I, I wouldn't count the Don't cruise count them out. line out. Don't count them out. Just yet. Um, because they're still a good value. Yeah. And not all cruises are the same. No. like, And we have a video coming up that's going to kind of lay it out for you, and you'll see why um, certain cruise lines are. One, are popular amongst people, but if you are one of those people where, yes, your dollar does matter and you want to get the best bang for the buck compared to um, everyone that's out there, we'll kind of rank that for you. Yeah, MSC is one of the good ones. DT says 2025 World America Cruise still on? Yep. Yes, it is. (laughs) (laughs) One, because I want to see the big giant ship. And I want to see the speakeasy that's on there. Yeah, so there's that. That way. (laughs) Yeah. And according to Ben and David, the World Europa is a beautiful ship yeah Which, like the ship it like if you watch their video <laughs> you really were like and that's oh. kind of like a sneak peek to what's coming up for our group cruise in yeah. 25 on world america when it gets here but think about it you've got a whole year for them to correct a lot of the issues to that people lot. uh if they're sincere about you know continuing breaking to into grow, the u.s market they've um, got to do a lot and just keeping their their customers happy across the pond because there there are videos out there from people that are not Americans that, that are feel bad the mouthing. same way about <laughs> MSC. It's not yeah. like a one off type situation. Mm-mm. So they got some work to do. They do. They really I do. I mean, I understand it's a mom and pop owned business, but hey, come on, man. Sometimes you uh, gotta let's get see. Them Elaine says they was out there with their sugar mama and sugar <laughs> papa. <laughs> They want to get on video yeah. with their Ju- sugar Jules mama. Network says, would y'all still get on? Yeah. Yes. Still planning to. Um, we, no, 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 nothing is planned. We're just more mindful of the situation now. Yeah. Uh, but we're always mindful when we're filming anyway. So Yeah. I just like Ben know, and David. So, here yeah. you go. Says, I filmed on five different MSC cruises, but I do the Area experience. We don't have those problems in top 19. <laughs> I will stay out of the yacht club. <laughs> <laughs> See, now there's a difference. We've never done the just the area. Yeah. <laughs> We've either gone all the way up. Or <laughs> so that's that's definitely <laughs> Why something is that, that you can do. We have done area. We have not done area. Haven't we? No. Yeah. We've either been in, inside <laughs> or yacht club. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I thought we had. We've never done like just a middle like middle class. In all this time. <laughs> Let's see. Carla said she had herself a strawberry Negroni we on her birthday. Saw. Was it good? Yeah. That's that's a totally you and Terry type she, of thing. She also says, I don't know if I want to go on MSC out of Brooklyn. They, um, I mean, Maravilla. Is honey a Experience ship. says, hi, all. Sorry I'm late. Can I get a recap? Who did MSC <laughs> attack this time? Uh, just go back and watch the recap if you can. But basically, we're talking about uh, what David. happened with uh, fellow cruise creators of Ben and David and their latest experience uh, with uh, MSC yet Mm-mm-mm. again. Uh, I'm sure if you go check out their channel, uh, you'll be able to see what exactly went on. And you can kind of form your own opinion from there. And the thing is, they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. They were going to give a good review. Oh, the review was good <laughs> compared to the last one. Like, they and was on it. They were very professional, even at toward the ends of that video. Even after they left, 
they were still very professional and gave gr- a great review of the ship, yeah. even though MSC did them wrong. Yeah, so, yeah, that way. Um, Date for the World America is April 26th. I'm glad 25. you remember that because I couldn't. <laughs> it is not the inaugural sailing, but no. it is the one after and so, and just in case you didn't know, we are travel advisors, and we also host I think it's the um, group cruises. So, Correct me um, if, I'm if wrong. you would love to travel with us, uh, you can definitely go check out all of our upcoming trips. We have them available on our website at mm-hmm. addieandterry.com. Uh, if you look in the <laughs> header, you'll see "Come with us." Click on that, and that will take you to all of our upcoming uh, cruises and group 26. cruises. And uh, yes, the A and T M S C World America cruise is April twenty sixth. Through May 3rd of 2025, Ken. Let's see. Gina says she went on the Maravilla out of Brooklyn. Carla, you should try it. It's a gorgeous ship. It's actually one of our favorites. We've done Maravilla, what, three, four times? Yeah. No, three times because we've done Davina four times. That's right. So Davina has been four times. Maravilla has been three times. But we've also done Seaside and that's it. Yeah. Seascape. (laughs) <laughs> Leah B says, I went on MSC Seaside in July of 23 and just got off the seashore on Thursday. And honestly, I noticed a lot of change mm-hmm. for the good. Mm. And there were plenty of people recording with no issue. Exactly. Trust me, they ain't going to mess with nobody. They ain't going to mess with nobody now. <laughs> yeah, but that's good they to know. Gonna, so, that's uh, really good to know. See there? She's already we noticing stuff uh, was going changing on. Changing for the good. Kevin Tasha said, Terry, just imagine. <laughs> Y'all wrong. <laughs> if it was Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, uh, Easy Sailing says MSC was playing cleanup on aisle nine with the lie about the complaint. People right? took the bait, pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Tashandra says, I would rather go where my dollar is appreciated. Uh, Carolyn mean, says, I went on Maravilla also and had no problems. Exactly. We love Maravilla. Honey Experience says, I'm not going to spend my money with anyone who doesn't appreciate me. Mm. Uh, and then Eric says, question. I heard Ben and David were given an apology and refund and are making policy with MSC regarding the video. Have you heard anything? Not any updates. Uh, No updates other than what they've already um, put out there uh, Mm. in the public. So I'm sure those things are going to take time and take planning to actually put in place and and make happen. But I guarantee you other cruise lines are are coming up with that same scenario. So here's the thing with uh, cruising and being a content creator or any industry it's not just cruising uh there are so many people that do a lot of videos and you would think uh and Mm -hmm. and it is it's exposure for cruise lines it helps if the videos are well produced and of good quality and character very helpful to cruise lines because they don't have to spend that money on that part of their Mm -hmm. marketing budget it's the videos that are um very clickbaity to mm-hmm. get the click or are always negative. Like I, I, I see channels where it's like every trip they take, there's something, something negative wrong. to the point where I'm like, just stay home. <laughs> if every cruise you're going to take something is wrong, horrible. Oh, this that, was that might mean you need another hobby. <laughs> I'm just saying. And, and I think, and they do pay attention yes. to those things. Yes. Um, and, uh, it, it, it it's, it's, you know, it's a catch twenty two. It's yeah. catch twenty two. Either way you go, just be and mindful of, you know, what you're shooting and how you're representing. Especially if you want to work with the cruise line mm-hmm. in the future, mm-hmm. um, you definitely don't want to have a whole channel of negative negatives. Uh, you definitely want to have some positives. But with that being said, be truthful, one hundred percent truthful in your experience. Uh, one, because if you're a content creator like us. You want everything that you say to add to your credibility. Absolutely. And um, you don't want to be out there screaming wolf. And then you go and people find out that, hey, that ain't what was really going on. You actually said you hated it, but you're smiling and laughing and enjoying yourself. And you're back again. (laughs) And you're on it again. Yeah. So (laughs) that's just like my, my little two cents. And with that being said, you know what time it is. Da, 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 da. You know what time it is. To the bar. It is time to go <laughs> to the bar. Because we love going to the bar. Yeah, man. Because it's time to drink. Because it's time to get our drink you on. Know, if you are those who do not imbibe, uh, just hang out with us. It's not going to take long to, to fix this cocktail, but this is like one of the staples of the Sunday sip where... Because it's called the Sunday sip. You know, we make a cocktail. 
And today we're going to be celebrating St. Patty's Day with the Irish margaritas. Just a riff Ooh. on the margarita. So uh, I'm going to go over here. I got to get, get ready to do my thing. You know where all the, the stuff in the... <laughs> That was the funniest sneeze yeah. I've ever heard. And all the, the stuff with. Uh, if you want to find the recipe real quick, uh, go to our comment uh, community page on yes. our YouTube channel uh, and on IG, and you'll find it. So yes. let me get back here to the bar so I can get to work. And like I said, if you become a Tier 3 member or patron, you will get a PDF at the end of the month with all of the recipes and pictures of the cocktails. Lovely. All right, so real simple. A couple of ingredients you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need an Irish whiskey, of course. Because uh, it's St. Patty's Day. My Irish whiskey choice is just Jameson. It's readily available. It's uh, rarely inexpensive, about $25 for a 750 ml. And it's one good. Addy will drink. Uh, you're going to need juice from some fresh limes, only the fresh stuff around here. It makes your cocktails taste uh, that much better. And I've also it's a got uh, some triple sec. Yeah, it's a basic triple sec. I didn't want to use my Grand Marnier for this. Basic. Uh, and then I don't have any of the curacao. And I'm going to use some uh, light agave uh, versus simple syrup. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, because we like agave. Because uh, tequila. Blending. And green food coloring. And green food coloring, yeah. There you go. Right? So. so he's about to go mix, mix, mix. And I am going to look through the comments and say hello to everyone. Hello to Miss Jacqueline Jones. Elaine said my friend just got off. Oh, did my clicking cl kill the music? There we go. <laughs> my friend just got off the Magnifica and said she said it was okay. That's one of the ones we have not done. We almost did the Armenia when we were still, the country was still able to go to Cuba. We almost did the Armenia to do the Cuba cruise. Um, ba, 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 da. Eddie says, Terry, I am a Marine and I may have went deep six. And uh -oh. <laughs> oh, really? Um, Cynthia says, I love the Maravilla. The food in the dining room was just blah. That is true. But that's true of all MSC cruises. The, the main dining room is not where it's at. For them, for MSC, you really either got to be Yacht Club or for the better dining room, which is actually starting to get normal. Uh, but um, their specialty dining is where it's at on MSC, which is not great, but um, you got to pay extra to get the real good food. Carolyn said that she thought the MDR was terrible. MDR is main dining room. She mostly ate at the buffet and pizza. Now that was us on the seascape. <laughs> um, Teresa said, look at you getting, getting going back there. Teresa said, I just went on Davina for a quick two-nighter. I knew it wouldn't compare to Virgin or Carnival, but it was not what I expected, but willing to try again on a longer cruise. Exactly. The Davina is perfect for a weekend trip just to get it, get out. You basically just go to um, Ocean Key for the weekend and it's perfect. That's it. A little goes a long way because it's concentrated. Um, What else? What else? Carla is letting me know that the strawberry Negroni tastes better than a regular Nago. Okay. I just can't do bourbon. Oh my God. Okay, Fogo to Chow. For your birthday. I see you out here. How many courses did you do before you made the, the waiter stop? Easy Sailing says there is another pair of fellows. All their videos have drama and exasperated voices. <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> Exactly. Like, what else could possibly go wrong? And you should probably just stay home. Hey, sugar, how are you doing? Welcome to the Sunday sip. Adventure says, not drinking today, busy packing. Going on a trip. That is green. <laughs> 
busy packing, so she's listening and moving around. But hello to the chat. Hello, adventures. Oh, <laughs> sugar tells me I have to pinch you because you're not wearing green. Oh, I pinch him on. I was wondering if somebody was gonna figure that out. I'm pinching him on his booty. All right, now that's enough. <laughs> Um, the honey experience says, ooh, loving this, running to get my tequila. Yes, so we're making the margarita today, but we're making it Irish yeah. using Irish whiskey instead of tequila. But other than that, it's still it's super green. <laughs> it's still a margarita. So it's got the lime and it's got the agave and, and the triple sec. But... Instead of tequila, it's Irish whiskey. That way. So I hope I like it. Boom. Do you think I'll like it? I hope so. If not, you'll probably say Look at the timing on that. You'll probably say it's not sweet enough or something like that. Oh, but then I can add more of my syrup, so we're uh, good. Yeah, well, I guess you could do that. <laughs> uh, so with that being said, the cocktail is made. Hopefully we didn't lose half of the people that, you know, are like not We have cocktails. 237 of you here today. And about a hundred of you have not rang the doorbell. So we would love it if you'd hit that thumbbell. That's a lot the of The thumbbell? The thumb. <laughs> <laughs> like if I could zoom in right now, I would. Hit the thumbs up. That's the doorbell. Or just hit the thumbs up. Anyway, hit the thumbs up. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. No, 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 no. I got to think of a... Uh, Oh, Lord, that's what you did last yeah, year. Yeah, I, I, I got to think of We were trying to remember what he did last year, and it was all the weird Irish... <laughs> Yeah, I forget. I did. That's what I did last year. And I'm like... All the Irish cheers. Um, I got to think of one. You don't have them all ready. Get, you usually have them like right at the top of the dome. Yeah. <laughs> Again, while he's thinking of his Irish... Irish... What is it? Salute. Toast. Right. I can't um, just turn up. You, we, while he's thinking of one, because he, he comes up with them so, so quickly... Um, don't forget. Hold on. I need, I, need a, I need a little inspiration before we get <laughs> you there. You need to do a shot. I need to do a, a shot. shot before the drink. Yeah. Okay. So what I was going to say, if you have any questions about cruising or travel in general, <laughs> land or by sea, <laughs> put it in the comments. We'll get to it. Q colon or the word question. And um, 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 I was going to say something else. Hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> And if you are watching the replay, bless you. <laughs> and um, thank you for doing so. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the replay as well. You found one yet? You you got one in the dome? Because I want to taste. Oh, she's, shoot. Sorry. Listen at you. <laughs> All right. BRB. Um. <clears throat> I'm usually the one with the potty mouth. You ready? I am ready. <laughs> This is so green. I'm, our <laughs> tongues are going to be green. My dear friends, they're the best friends. Each is loyal, yeah. trustworthy, and able. Gotcha. But now it's time for drinking. So lift all your glasses off the table. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> that was simple. Okay. Yes. Honey says I'm I'm, I'm running to get my tequila. Yeah, just Q like Creation that. says Irish margarita. I'm taking notes. That's good. Tashandra says, "Is that a whiskey tap back there?" No, no, that's rum. That's that's rum. <laughs> it's a rum tap. Um, yeah, that's rum. Shout out to Sha Shaquille. Welcome to the Sunday sip. Glad burr, 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 to have burr. you here. Uh, glad to see that's new good. faces. Of course. I'm, I'm shocked. Be oh, no, no, no. I'm not shocked because when we did the Disney bourbon thing, Jameson was one of the ones I actually liked. Remember? Oh. So, I mean, I, I said I like it. It was one of the ones that I didn't gag. There's no way. <laughs> I drink to your health when I'm with you. I drink to your health when I'm alone. I drink to your health so often I'm starting to worry about my own. Oh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is this is delicious. It's quite green. It's good. It really is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no cap. It's good. Mm -hmm. 
Sidia says, uh, Carolyn, we did specialty dining. That was amazing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. MSC, you have to do specialty dining because that's where the good food is. Yeah, let's see. This show <laughs> in the house was good. Good hey. evening, everybody. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Shout out to Lynette and Stanley in the house. What up, fam? Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Hey, loves. Glad to have our family in the when house. When would that's we good. use the good stuff? When would we use what 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 good stuff? Carla said this because we said this was the basic stuff. When do we use the good stuff? Oh, it depends. It really does. It does. It's like, do I want to make some quick and fast? Grab mm-hmm. some quick. If I really want to enjoy it, grab the good stuff. If he's smoking a cigar outside, always the good stuff. He's drinking the good stuff. Mm-hmm. If Addie doesn't pay attention to what she grabs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Shout out to uh, Marcus Maryland. Bah, 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 bah. See, him, see, see him represent the Divine Nine in his photo right there. Greetings from Maryland. When's the next Virgin Voyage cruise for you two? That would be your August. your cruise. Sisterhood. Sisterhood yeah. at sea. Of which, let me do a quick plug here. Oh. Sisterhood at sea. We are going on the Riviera Maya itinerary. August 26th, no, excuse me, August 25th through August 30th. Get your cousins, mamas, sisters, best friends, aunties, whatever. Come join us because mm-hmm. it's going to be fabulous. I've been doing a lot of research to do something fabulous in Cozumel slash Playa del Carmen. Um, all ladies, all the time, and Terry. But <laughs> I mean, I go, I'm trying to find somebody that can film this year. So it could just so be just y'all. all ladies. So if you are uh, a, a creator with some good camera skills and you would like to take my place, I'm, I'm down with that. But right at, as, as of right now, it is an all ladies, all girls trip. We would love to have you. It is on the Virgin Voyages, Valiant Lady sailing out of Miami. If you're not going, why not? Fellas, this is the perfect time for you to treat your girl to a girl's trip. There you go. Yeah. That way. Yeah, that, yeah. Come that. join us because a lot of my sassy sisters are here in the chat and they will tell you it is a bomb trip. Mm-hmm. Very, very fun. We had so much fun last new year. New ports of call, new, new activities. <laughs> and then after that, our next one will be our couples trip in January. Oh, and you know you want to do that. Or in the Cartagena. You know you want to do that. Colombia. One. Couples and solos if you are trying to get yourself. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Couple, couples, couples tra- but solos that want to learn how to get to get be a to couple. Get to be a couple. Yeah. <laughs> or meet this up. This is going to be the 10-day cruise for you. Just make sure you've got your PTO and you're ready to go. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, as, as soon as we released that one, started booking started up. Booking. That one is going like higher. Hot cakes. So I'm looking forward to it. I've already found at least three Addy and Terry type Approved adventures. Approved adventures. Already, <laughs> especially when we get to Colombia. So oh. um, if you can uh, hang, you know, if you can. If you can hang, you come can hang. Do it. Come with us, man. That one is sailing Resilient Lady January 21 through yep. February 1. Um, it is an 11 night yeah. cruise sailing out of San Juan. Yeah. It is going to be epic. Yeah. Two sea days, Cartagena, Colombia, another sea day, Curacao, Aruba, another sea day, St. Lucia, Antigua and Barbuda, and St. Martin. Some some absolutely beautiful days. Yeah. Um, we will have activities. We will have fun stuff. But, of course, it is your vacation, so you will have free time to explore and do your own thing. Yeah. Um, we, we market it as a couples-only cruise because we want – you guys to be able to start the new year and rekindle your love. Oh, something like that. As he wrenches away from me. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing, man. I'm like rekindle All your right, love. Let's get back and to work. He's trying Carolyn to wrench away from me. <laughs> this. Uh, I did also. It was good. Teppanyaki was my favorite. Ola was a little too spicy for me. Ola um, was spicy to you? Gina says one of my pals just returned for the Magnifica, and she said that the MDR food was never hot. MDR food. And on, I mean, MSC just misses the mark with with, with the MDR. <laughs> Ms. Tiffy PD says, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, bartender. Okay. okay. Sugar says, of course, I figured it out. Uh, Marcus uh, in Maryland says, you guys like doing all-inclusive resorts. Yes. 
Yes, we actually do. Yes. Um, good video. Uh, also, uh, speaking of our good friends, Life With Us TV, they just recently did their live mm -hmm. and they did a comparison between um, all inclusives and cruising. Uh, another good resource. But yeah, we do love all inclusives just yes. like we love cruising. cruising. Yeah. Um, it just depends on where, how bougie it is for me. Th that part. Yeah. That I, part. I, I, I like a good stay. I like a good. I like to, to go places and experience things that I feel match where I am at this point in my life. You, know, you work hard, you get to a certain point. You, you, you want to play elevate, hard. You want to get things to match up. That's me. That's basically what it is. <laughs> uh, Sydney, yes, that is uh, not Midori in there for the green color. No, it's actual just green just food, food coloring. coloring. That's why it's so It's vibrant. So rich. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, I was checking to see if my tongue was turning green. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good. All We're right. good. Uh, Brother Mallet says, question, Terry, you and Addie know Royal will have nine ships in the next four to five years, uh, two TUI ships, one Silver Sea, two more Icons, one Oasis, and one Celebrity that Excel is ship. crazy. That's a lot, man. Shout out to crazy. Brother Mallet always coming through with the uh, uh, the. The, the good cruise knowledge. And uh, speaking of Royal, shout out to Damien Kwanda. We saw you up in the house D earlier. Uh, you know, we, we see you. Now, when you come through, we see you. So glad to have you hanging out with us here. Smooches um, loves. This weekend. Definitely go check them out in their, their channel. Good content as well. Good people. Just good people. Uh, Sugar, thank you. The drink does look good. It tastes really good. It's, I'm it's shocked. It's going pretty fast, too. I know. You should have made more. Uh, let's see. Carla says, two people came around four times, so I had eight different meats. I've never had Wagyu New York strip. That made my night. Oh, I love a Wagyu. Okay, I think they're talking about Fogo. Yeah, Fogo to Chow. That's right. where she went for her birthday. <laughs> Sugar said, shot, shot, shot. Teresa mm -hmm. T says, wow, I remember that. The year went <laughs> fast. Uh, Marcus Maryland says, cheers. Today is my birthday <gasps> celebrating 53 years. Happy birthday cheers. to you, brother. We should do a shot for his birthday. We're going to do a shot for your birthday, bro. That's what we're going to do. What is on my leg? Sorry. Distraction. Boom. We'll finish this ball, I think. I mean, we started it last year. <laughs> oh, that's true, too. We should. I'd be forgetting it's in there. <laughs> that's how much liquor we got. We Salute forget we you, have brother. stuff. May, Happy birthday, Marcus. May God's favor be with you always. Oh, you should have done a birthday. Birthday. Irish. Uh -huh. Birthday. Mm. Thanks for the excuse to drink. Uh, no, I'm just playing. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> is it me or is that getting stronger the more shots we do? <laughs> My nose running. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Get back to it. <laughs> what was I looking for, Tony? Oh, uh, you know. A couple of people saying happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. To my man Marcus. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Toyla said, yes, Carla, you have to turn the card to red or they keep feeding you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This will be my fourth time there. <laughs> I love the meat. Jesus, I'm here for the meat. That pause. A couple of cheers. <laughs> and say, I'm here. Eric says, I need to cruise with you guys. I never cruise with anybody that drinks like I do. Oh, then come on. Come along. Come, come on. Come aboard. We're expecting We you. have several cruises lined up. Come join us. <laughs> We drink like this every cruise. <laughs> Mom says she needs a little sangria. Oh, no, she says she's drinking sangria. Kelly says, uh, Eric, check out their website for cruises with them. Yeah. Uh, Elaine says, y'all do your Irish thing. I'm frying some chicken. Ooh. Ooh. Face green, smiling. Okay. okay. Tanika <laughs> says, I really okay. want to sell Virgin because it looks so fun, but I'm booked on Celebrity for my first cruise. <gasps> How would you describe the culture and the fun? Ooh. Okay, so Celebrity is great. Well, first, which celebrity cruise are yeah. you going on? Because that makes a difference. Um, but celebrity is elevated. I will put it that way. Yeah, depending on the ship, but still. It's elevated. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be fun as in like carnival or royal. Okay, so think of celebrity as elevated royal because they're sister companies. Whereas Royal Caribbean is their mass market. Celebrity is the next level up. So that would be their premium line. So that's that's celebrity. The food's going to be a bit better. The decor is going to be a bit better. It's elevated. That's, that's like the best word. <laughs> the best word I could give it. Um, there will be some after hours nightlife, but not what you're thinking. 
Um, but yeah, let us know exactly which ship you're going on and we can tell you a bit more. Yeah. That hopefully, way. hopefully that helps. I, I don't know if it did because I was confused <laughs> listening to you, but yeah. It, yeah. Celebrity, <laughs> sexy, virgin, fun, and sexy. Yeah. That way. Yeah. Uh, Teresa says, I love sangria. We All love right. a sangria. <laughs> Carolyn says, thanks. I was trying to find somewhere different for my birthday, but my family suggested Negril Village. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Carla says she wanted more meat. <laughs> Linda says, your mom's happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, Christy Baker says, sisterhood at sea. I can't wait. Yes. Elaine says, hold up. I didn't see that. Quality child care one saying hello <laughs> to everybody. Welcome to the Sunday sip. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. Want to know here you go says, I'm definitely trying to figure out if we can be gone that long for the couple's trip. Come on. Uh, Teresa T says, it breaks my heart that I can't go to Columbia with y'all. St. Lucia is my all time fave, but I have my eyes set on Greece. Come to that one too. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> we're, we're planning some <laughs> epic trips. So well, just know that if, you can't make it to one. We'll probably go back again. Mm -hmm. If not the exact same time, it probably won't be the exact same itinerary, but we, all the places that we are going are all the places that we have wanted to visit before. Mm -hmm. So we like Greece, we absolutely loved it. So we're going back and mm -hmm. want to go with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, Cartagena, it will be our first time. So, and I definitely know <laughs> that we're going to want to go back. Like next year is <laughs> starting to start starting to turn out to be an international year for yes. us. Yes. You know, we may go with some friends on their their trip. So we may do yes. Greece two times. So we so, might just get there and stay there. Um okay. <laughs> Y'all heard it from him. Let's see, Sugar says a good all inclusive with a nice pool, good drinks, not cheap drinks, and great food. Yes. I'm with that. Yes. Michael Burrell says, any plans for Utopia? I just booked a back to back in September using casino offers only. Nice. Excited for the railway inspired specialty dining to open up. Okay, so last Sunday sip, thank you all again for last week when I had the migraine and we couldn't sip. So thank you all for the well wishes. Wanted to put that out there. But the before that, you guys asked me about the railway dining experience. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck are y'all talking about? But I investigated. <laughs> so now I understand what you're talking about. And it does look dope. That looks so cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty fly. It's gonna, it looks like you're sitting in a railway car, like you're on a train and, and the, the, the scenes are going by. It looks so cool. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be kind of cool. But so to answer your question, while she can't no, wait, we currently don't have we plans, don't have for, plans Utopia. for Utopia. <laughs> it, it, it is a topic of conversation right now, but we mm -hmm. don't have any plans yet. Uh, Damien and Quanda says, how can we purchase shot glasses? Go to our website. Yep. Or uh, if you're a certain uh, level if on our membership. If you're on level three, you get one we'll for be free. You one. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn says, I'm excited about that railway restaurant, too. Can't wait till September. Mm -hmm. uh, Sugar says, Terry, your looks was priceless when Addie said she was good. Right. Uh, Tanika says, on the edge. Oh, even better. Okay, so um, you're going on the edge. You're going to have a blast. Yeah, you picked a good one. If I had to pick between virgin and celebrity... If I'm going celebrity, I'm definitely going on the edge, edge class. class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. go then, check out our good, series that we just did on Ascent. Yeah, that's a good that's a good transition. So if this is your very first cruise and you're doing the edge, one, <laughs> you congratulations setting the bar to real you, high. You get, a, you get a round of applause because you you basically are setting yourself up at the highest level. You are setting the bar real high. <laughs> so anything else you do after this point has you, got to come up to that. Yeah. Virgin is going to be kind of right there right neck and neck for there. you, so you're mm -hmm. good. But everything else, you're going to be like, uh, uh, depending on what you're looking for. So sure. I got I to preface it with that, though. Um, but the Edge class is a beautiful ship. Yeah. Um, they do some great itineraries, good food. Definitely go to Rooftop Garden Grill. Yeah. Um, yeah, all the things, all the things. Just do all the. It's things. it's it's a fun ship. Yeah. You will have good grown up fun. Good food, good drink, good uh, environment. Uh, Instagram ready. Yes. Just a lot of uh, activities. Yes. Great entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, they'd be on one. 
Uh, honey experiences. Where can I find the couples cruise info? Looking on your website. If you are on our website and you go to come with come us, with us in the banner, that is going to be the page that has all of our upcoming cruises. Yes. And then you're going to scroll down one, <laughs> two, three, four. It will for say A and T for only. couples only. Uh, you'll see the virgin ship uh, facing to the left. So Shout out to G Fox and the Hop. Hey. What's up? I was you know, trying to make sure they get so to where they specific. need to go. Yes. Uh, all the uh, burr, 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 burr. says, which one of you has Irish blood? Um, there ain't no telling. He he's he's not he don't have Irish. I think yours said it was Welsh, which is kind of Irish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but not Irish. Irish. I have Irish. Do you? Let me pull yes. up the DNA. Let me go look, to the DNA. Look, thing. Look, look, look. No, no, I was man. about to say, pull what, up the ancestry.com. Ancestry.com. We're about I, to find out. Cause I, I could show you right now. You know, all of us have a little something, something of something, something. And something My mom something. is on here and she can attest. She will deny it. Oh, but Lord. You're going to get your attest. mama going. You should even you should, <laughs> you should <laughs> so just said, slid she, on through that but one. But you won't have my, my password on there. Huh? You don't have my password on there and I don't know my password. No, it's not ancestry. It's it DNA. Is. Ancestry DNA. No, it's the DNA one. That's literally what it is, Terry. How you gonna argue with me? See? Boom, right there. Your results. That ain't the one we do. It is the it's lit right there. Oh, okay. My bad. See how he questioned my I'm knowledge? Uh, you're eight percent Wales. Was I the Welsh one? No, see, they're two percent Irish. Oh yeah, two percent Irish. So, so <laughs> Albie Gutierrez, if you're literally asking who has Irish blood in them, and I think I do too. I you, just where do just I go to log in? I just click on here. Go to log in. Ain't that where it was? Go go back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we didn't went like squirrel. Log moment. in. There you go. And your password and whatever, whatever you used to log in last time. Man, I don't even remember. Oh, it ain't even connected. Hold on. Yeah, that's why I said you gotta use your password, whatever you use before. Now, now he's curious as to what he is. <laughs> hey, during the and Sunday sit, we're liable to go is, anywhere. But the yes. thing is, we did the ancestry DNA because I, I'm deep into uh, genealogy and figuring out so where we right are right and our, and then DNA. Yeah, there you are. Oh, okay, there we go. Discover your origins. That's so, it. as a a what, was this like a, a gift? Was this my birthday gift one year? I don't know. I think I was just curious to find out. You click the wrong thing. Did you I? you click no, the community. It says your DNA connects you to. No, you you click the the ancestry patterns. Just go to results. That's where. I and was. be patient. Discover your origin. Yeah, that's what I did. And then be patient and so let it pop be up. Losing people because I'm. You're not, not losing talking people. To there we go. No, you're Scottish. Oh yeah. You're not <laughs> Irish. You're Scottish. Oh yeah, two percent. <laughs> wow, you're Jewish. Two percent Scott. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. But that's awesome. Uh, according to this, I am. Wow. So you should be doing all the Jewish yeah, this, holidays. This you thing can has, actually hush do. Hush up, man. This thing has updated since. Yeah, it has. Yo, that's dope, yo. You could participate in all the Jewish holidays, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my Larry David on. Alvin Gutierrez, you, you, you started something, man. <laughs> Thank you. Man, we done lost like <laughs> 5,000 people on our... No, okay. All right. Honey Experience says, uh, side note, we're going to need Addie's skincare routine. Oh, Flawless. thank you, boo. This is lots of, lots of work in progress. Because... <laughs> that, that, that big ass water bottle you be drinking Because, oh my God, a couple of years ago, the skincare was... The skin was not looking this good. He can attest to it. Facts. <laughs> the skin was not looking good. Um, I, I had some, some hormonal issues and I had cystic acne. So between, um, what was I doing? Facials, facials monthly, medicated facials monthly when I would actually go see an esthetician and then a dermatologist that actually gave me like some um, antibiotics. Now I have a pretty much a good program. And then once a year, I go get a chemical peel. And um, that's usually around my birthday. I didn't do it this year, though, did I? Mm -mm. But I usually get a chemical peel once a year. But every morning, wash, moisturize with sunscreen. Sunscreen is a must. 
and in the evening, wash and moisturize. Home that way. Shout out to the cruise buddies <laughs> in the house. What's going on? Welcome hey. to the Sunday Sip. Uh, King Roll, thanks, man. We appreciate, appreciate the love. Appreciate you. Cheers to you, too. Kelly says, please do it twice next year because I already had it booked before I knew about SAS 25, so I can kick it with you there, too. Oh, so you're talking about Columbia, Kelly? <laughs> no, I think she's talking about uh, Life with Us' uh, cruise because I said we may go twice. Oh. Teresa T says, I got my MNVV while on 2.5, so come hell or high water, I'll be on SAS 25 for my birthday. Hey, boo. Kid Hill 33 says, thanks again for my travel insurance. You are so welcome. My 60th birthday celebration cruise on Davina. Happy birthday in two weeks. Carla wants to know what date you're going. Uh, Tanika Davis said, my sister said I'm bougie. We all bougie. Wear that honey. wear with pride. Exactly. Uh oh, he done he done got into Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> All right, Francesca. <laughs> I'm going to watch that, too. Burr, 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 burr. Uh, McCorkle says, my husband and I are planning a trip to Alaska, and we can't wait to see your footage. God, we got you coming up. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait for Alaska. Man. In fact, one, we were looking last night, checking out stuff. One, because it's on the edge, and we love that ship, and we've never sailed it for more than a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we're very excited to be back on the celebrity edge and then to sail Alaska. Yeah. To go where we lived and actually see ah! the rest of the country that we did. Well, rest of the, the state. state. Sorry that we didn't see it while is, we were there. We were so amped for it. Let's we're see. So Fat Rasta said, Albie, hey! maybe Irish whiskey blood. What's up, A&T? Y'all looking good, man. No, nah, for real. <laughs> no, for real. 2%. Like Irish. Yeah. That's right here on the DNA thing, bro. 2%. Ireland. Um, I think if people go and do their DNAs, they would be they amazed. They would be so like, shocked. Hey, for real? <laughs> like, uh, I thought hey, my family hey, had hey, a no lot cap. of Native American. Hey, no cap. Some of them can turn into some dollars. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. You mm. with the Jewish Tim <laughs> Um, Tim Moody says, first time viewer, shout out to you. Welcome to the Sunday Sip. Welcome to our crazy world. Yeah. Well, <laughs> glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you come back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Eddie Ballard says, Terry, I'm back on Allure in November for my son and daughter's birthday. Med Cruise, May 25th on the seaside and Wonder in December on the 25th. Oh, nice. I mean, December 2025. Honey says she found it. Uh, your sister's throwing up the, the glasses. Uh, Cheryl says, I'm 19% Irish. Oh, you in there. Oh, you in there, in there for real. You, you could dang near get the passport. Let's see. King Rose <laughs> says, how can I get my wife to try another cruise line? We got married two years ago on the okay. Harmony and have been loyal to Royal ever since. Going on number six next month. So how can I, how can I get her to try Virgin or Carnival? Hey, we got a thumbs down for... For, for shouting out the for Irish? shouting out the Irish? Dang. Dang, that was Y'all real. harsh. Dang, real. Okay, so to answer your question, King Row. Yeah. I would, to try Virgin first. Yeah. I would not, I mean, nothing against Carnival, because I love Carnival. We love Carnival. 15 deep. But if she is amped to, to I mean, if she's not amped, she's, she's on the fence about trying another cruise line. Virgin is the one to try to sway her. Because Virgin has so much to offer. So. What's stopping her King from trying? Roe, yeah. If you like a good cocktail, then I would urge you, if you're thinking about doing Virgin, to go ahead and book it now. Because at the end of the month. Yeah, they're, they're cutting they're out. They're ending the, their free oh, bar tab you, and promotion. Uh, so if you want to get that free, you know. The bar tab. Bar tab. You need to go ahead and book now. We can take care of that for you. You can that even scan that little QR code on the screen right now. Uh, that'll take you to Virgin site. Uh, in the left-hand corner, you'll see Sold and Service by Terrence Bibb. That's me. That's, That's how you know you're booking with us. But with that being said, um, I would I would go in steps. If you want to go from Royal to something new and exciting, then go ahead and take a look at Virgin. Mm -hmm. If you want to bypass Virgin and you want to go ahead and go to Carnival. I can honestly only um, say Excel class. Shout, uh, shoot for the Excel class. That's uh, the Jubilee, the Celebration, the Mardi Gras. Uh, Those three ships, yeah. It's, that's going to be the closest to Royal, Royal. Mm -hmm. uh, that you may be into. But if you can push her on uh, Virgin, I think you guys will have an amazing time. And you may not even think about Carnival um, later After on. But I, I would do it that way. Either if you go straight to Carnival, do Excel class. If you do Virgin, 
do Virgin and have and, a good and time. And then let the us thing. know how you had. How to, okay. I'll, I'll put which so, one you had. So if you have kids. Um, and you are not trying to, f- if you're vacationing with the kids, then yes, do carnival because oh, yeah, if you, got kids, you, yeah. you could do carnival with the family. But if you're trying to do something sexy and romantic and couples only, definitely on- do virgin because it's adults only and you will have a blast and you yeah. can do as much or as little as you want. So you could be as, 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 as focused in the entertainment and then is focused and do all the things that Virgin has to offer, or you can be retreated and you can relax and do as little as you want on Virgin and still have a great time. So there's that. So in the two years of your marriage, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, that's, that's another perk. And that the bar tab thing that Terry was just talking about goes for all cruises. If you are trying to book with Virgin just know that they are stopping the bar tab promotion where they're giving you free bar tab this month. So if you are trying to get free drinks, you better get to booking. Carla G says, which DNA company is better? Not sure. They're all about the same. Kelly I honestly says, think. She's talking about Greece. Oh, okay. Thank you, boo. Q Creation says, great skin care advice, Addie. Thank you. <clears throat> Elbow cough. What up, brother Dale? He says, "Hey, family, just showing love you guys. I'll be calling soon. Can't wait cool, to talk cool. to you again, brother." Michael Harden says, "Addy and Terry, sups up, bougie bourbon drinker, and Mama and I are cruising on Carnival Celebration for the first time in June. What's my best bar situation for top shelf smoked bourbon? Mm. Pig and Anchor. For they don't smoke." Yes, they do smoke. They Oh, they do. That's right. Anything bourbon related on that ship, like go straight bourbon, to the back bourbon, of the ship. Go straight to the to the aft of the ship. Yes. Go to Guy's Pig and Anchor. I, I know you're going to be like Pig and Anchor. Joint? Yes. Barbecue bourbon. Um, they have tastings back there mm-hmm. where you can um, pick and choose or they have a, a, a curated list. Uh, that's going to be good. Your second next best bar to that is going to be um, there on the Brass cel- Magnolia. Yeah, Brass Magnolia. But I would not I Magnolia. Would, it's called Golden Jubilee on the celebration. Yeah, Golden Jubilee. Uh, but I would say go to uh, Guys Pig and Anchor for all things bourbon, and mm-hmm. they do a smoked. Well, they did the last time last I was time on we board. Were on. Yeah, they did a uh, top shelf smoked bourbon. You can get whatever on the and shelf that's, that's you what want. I was about to say. If you have the drink package, you can literally go back there and just drink down the list like we did. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Bean and AJ Vacation says, hello, hey. good people. We missed y'all last week. My wife and I are always looking for the si- looking forward to the sip. We appreciate you not overlooking us when we take the time Aww. to read. What we write you guys are the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Also, we can't wait to meet you people. We can't wait to we meet y'all, We can't wait to meet too. y'all. That's one of the things we actually love about cruising and getting to meet everybody and seeing people in person and putting faces with names. We, we love it. Yeah. Uh, cruising travel adventures with Brian. That's a new name. Welcome to the <laughs> Sunday sip. Glad to have you. Uh, it says where are y'all's upcoming cruises um, on our on website, our website. Uh, go to addyandterry.com. Mm-hmm. Go to come with us and you'll see all the list of our upcoming group cruises and trips uh, and trips through 2025. Um, we do have some, some that we're going to add some stuff upcoming that is oh that we be have yet to renounce absolutely amazing yeah absolutely amazing. <laughs> like, we can't we've even, yet to announce it yet but yeah. we have some great things happening for oh the my channel goodness. like <laughs> great birthday twenty twenty four is you thought, going to okay be and and another I, epic one. I teased him because I told him I was like well we get to do all the cool stuff on your birthday. Yeah. And that's because my birthday is in January. <laughs> Ain't nothing popping in January, baby, but the cold. But his birthday, you guys thought last year, and we still haven't even put those videos out. No, we haven't. So you they need, don't even know what we're talking about. You need to put those out. But uh, Everyone knows last year for Terry's birthday, we went to Greece. This year, we're doing something even more epic. So you got to stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so that you know. Shoot, we got something dope in three weeks. <sighs> is it three weeks now? It's like Have two we, and a half. Has the countdown gotten slower? Not yet. It's it's two two and a half. Is about it? three okay. weeks. So just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribed so you see what we doing. Mm-hmm. But upcoming, aside from the stuff that thank you for the subscription. Oh, Carla, you're oh, you're asking a question. She says Cuba. Okay, so update on Cuba. Our guy 
that I've been working with actually just came back from Cuba. He was securing our hotel for us. He actually, that's what's going to tell you that too. Oh, okay. He I'm actually like, Come on, bro. went to Cuba <laughs> to make sure that the hotel that he was suggesting for us is actually secured. So he said he will be in touch with us later this week coming, this week coming or to let us know what deposits will be and what everything we need in order for you guys to be able to start booking. So stay tuned in the next week or two to get the information for Cuba. Just keep in mind, we got a book too. So we have not booked and we're not, it's not like we've booked it and we're waiting to see what everybody else is going to do. We're waiting. We just are like just everybody else. <laughs> uh, and I, and I, I am glad that they're taking the time to do all the due diligence to yes. make sure everything goes. We don't want to get stuck in another country. <laughs> yeah. That ain't the one you want to, especially uh, in this political climate that we're no. in right now. Um, we do we, not want any, uh, <laughs> We do, Any international incidents we do are. not want an international incident. So, yes, let them do all yeah, the things. Yeah, do all the stuff you need to do, and then we will. Elaine so says, uh, my DNA, I'm Cherokee and from the Congo. We're okay. Congo, too. Yeah. We got a big part of Congo. I'm like, uh, hold on, I'm looking, I've still got it up. I am 23% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu. Peoples. How much? 23%. Oh, me too. Look. What? I'm more Nigerian than you, though. So am I. No, I know you're, you're you're more I'm Nigerian more, I'm than 45% me. Forty five percent Nigerian. What you mm -hmm. dang near fifty percent Nigerian? Mm -hmm. And then six percent Ivory Coast and Ghana. I'm, I'm going all, home. I'm seventeen percent Mali, and eleven percent Ivory Coast and Ghana. Yeah, you and got then, Senegal. You're then, big time Senegal. Yeah, I'm only like two percent Senegal. And then we get into Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, Jewish, Scotland, and Southern India, and I'm Eastern and Northwestern, and Wales. I'm 1% Indigenous American. So I thought I would have a whole bunch of Native American in my family. Nah, bro. But 1%. <laughs> that ain't Indian in your family. That is not no. Indian in my family. All right. <laughs> Uh, Lynn, uh, we do not know what's popping for 3.0 just yet. So, Absolutely uh, stay tuned no ideas. <laughs> Shout out to Damien and Kwanda. Becoming, Thank you for becoming members. members. They want that glass. They want. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, we could have just sent you a glass. They want the shot, shot glass. We, we would have just sent y'all the shot. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Kelly says, Dale, I'm so ready. Literally counting down the days. 117 days. Uh, Stacy says, a and I like what you're doing with the channel. The vlogs have been great. So happy for the channel growth. OG Sunday Sipper here. Thank you. Oh, you Stacey, are an OG. For all the love and all the support. We because really you, have, you are usually our one that comes with all the questions. I knew, I knew there was going to be some Somebody to come through right shout out to ken hill he's 40 percent wakanda. wakanda that's what i'm talking about i'm not gonna say what you sounded like i know that did sound weird <laughs> we're gonna keep it moving um stacy also thank you for the, the, the super, super sticker. sticker uh francesca mccorkle says watched your carnival celebration videos and took notes we're mm -hmm. going next month and can't wait to try the mango 305 Ooh, child. and the smoked manhattan Ooh, child that drink was so Man. good y'all making me want to jump all the drinks carnival. at the what was it the caleocho yeah whatever the the miami themed bar was that's by the pizza uh-huh Every single one of those drinks were delicious. Mm -hmm. You, the, Terry fell in love with the espresso martini there. Mm -hmm. But that 305, that thing was dangerous. Yep. <laughs> it was so good. What's up, Kenny Elliott? Hello. Uh, let's see here. M Crazy says, hey, family, love you guys. Hey, Can't boo. wait to go on the next cruise. I miss you. You uh, need to come down here and visit us again. Cruise and Travel Adventures with Brian says, where do you find the cruises y'all are going on listed where we can join you? On our website. On our website. <laughs> go to come with us. Um, or if you're looking for something specific, uh, just shoot us an email. Ray yeah. So Dope says, do you think Virgin will ever start selling from California or any experiences like it that sell from L.A.? Looking to do my first cruise. First off, welcome, welcome. to the Sunday Sip. And stay tuned for future announcements because they are planning some big things with itineraries. Yep. And L.A. is on their radar. On the radar. Stay tuned. So stay tuned. I'm not going to say it's happening anytime soon. But stay tuned. But just stay tuned. <laughs> and then when you're ready, 
Just go ahead and click that, that QR skew, code that, up scan there. Scan that QR code right <laughs> over there. Uh, Timothy Glasgow says, my first cruise is coming up and I'm nervous. Any advice on how to keep calm and relax? I told him it was okay. Um, just enjoy yourself. Don't think about anything that could possibly go wrong because cruising is very, 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 very safe. Just go have fun. That's all. First off, what what would make you not be? What Why would are get you your nervous? anxiety up on going to a cruise? Is it the fact that um, you've never been around that much water? You've never been around that much met many people it's something new um basically do do your research researching stuff yeah, to kind of find out what cruises what you can expect um if you um ask people in the comments when you're like hanging out with us they're a great resource to, um if, yes. if there's something that you're a little unsure about i'm sure people can can reinforce and help you out with that by going in the comment section I just um, noticed. and then okay. just kind of yeah like you said just kind of you know Go on, no expectations, and just take it all in. Take it all in. Yeah. Which which cruises you? What what cruise are you doing? I'm curious. Shout out to Carla G <laughs> celebrating just... 14 months of celebration. Yes, thank you, Carla, <laughs> for being there with us. I just noticed your DNA said Southern India. That is cool. That you are you're Indian, like not Native American, but Indian. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> Want to know who you go? Says uh, Tiffany Whiskey. On the <laughs> that's rocks. what. That's why I was like, this will keep you calm and relaxed. <laughs> Morning to the T says, are there any bar tab or sailor loot incentives with the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Summer Season Pass? Is that the? That's the thirty days that's the, working from home. The, work, the working week, from the helm. The back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. Yes, there are. There are quite a few of the sailor loot incentives and bar tab. I want to say they give you a bar tab amount for each cruise. I'm not certain which yeah, one it is. Just hold off if you don't know. Yeah. yeah. But it's a great deal. If you can take the the month off to do one of those, it's, it's a great deal. I, if we could do it. <laughs> I was just playing around with my boss the other day about doing it, and he was like, I'm like, okay, say less. But... Yeah booked but yeah if if we could take the month to to cruise around the, the mediterranean okay. hell yeah you might have to stay behind go for it you do a month and then i do a month <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny <laughs> why is that funny and it said for two people so why would you go alone i, I didn't say i was gonna go alone who are you taking on a cruise? Your mom? I got family, yo. I was about to say your mom? I got co-workers. Me and Harold can go and hang out. Oh, true. And work you know remotely. Andrea ain't going to let him go. go well, he need, he need a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So I was what, trying to find the information. What do you out. get? Huh? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. What do you get? I don't know. Mm. I'd have to pull. I didn't, I didn't have that all pulled up. So true. But j yes, there are incentives, Moni. Um, if you are interested, send me an email and I can give you all the details about it. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying but to it is a great it. deal. It's basically for those of you that don't know, thank you for becoming a member, member, Mr. Moneybags. But, um, what she's talking about with the VV Scarlet summer season pass, that's another SSSSSS is, it's basically a month long of cruises. It's four back to back Mediterranean cruises, and they start in different. Um, they, they each have a different itinerary, so you're visiting different places all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, great deal. Mm -hmm. um, but it starts, I want to say May or June. Starting at ninety nine nine ninety nine ninety. That's thirty percent. And it's is that in May? They have different they they have different start dates. So they they have May, June, there July, the Scarlet August. Summer season pass. It's a month at sea. Yeah. And uh, Coco, you can't go out. Additional yet, buddy. It's perks still that you get, uh, along with best price for a Central Sea Terrace, you'll get a dedicated pre-voyage concierge to support all your booking needs, an early access booking window for dining and shore things. Mm -hmm. Welcome bubbles to kick off the celebration. We love welcome Premium bubbles. Premium Wi-Fi, access to Richard's rooftop, which is normally reserved for um, rock, the stars. rock stars. 
a $10 daily coffee credit mm-hmm. and wash and fold laundry service included for each leg of your voyage. That's a per- Okay, so basically what they're giving you is you you get a sea terrace, a central sea terrace, yep. but they're giving you rock star or deep blue benefits. Yeah. On top of some some rock, of the benefits. Rock star and, and deep blue light. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like that. So you get access to the rock star to, to Rich's rooftop. The $10 coffee credit is a deep blue. The The laundry is a deep blue. Um, premium Wi-Fi is a rock star. So, so there you go. Yeah. So no additional bar, uh, bar tab or sailor loot, it looks like. So I think that will just take a perk if you're booking it during a certain window where they're offering yeah. if you, the if bar you tab. If you are interested or, in doing it, I would do it now before yes. they take the bar tab away. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So Put if you would have to book it. down now mm-hmm. because after March, I believe March 27th, March. it's gone. And, and you I heard mean, it from I, us first. They ain't bringing it back. Yeah. So... If you want bar tab after the 27th, you will be paying for it in full. That's $300 uh, for the bar tab Mm -hmm. plus, you know, uh, but if you want to get some of that bonus bar tab or you want to, you know, take advantage of, you know, sell seven or more days and we're going to give you three or $600 to to drink, do it now. Do it now because they're ending the bar tab promotion. Scan that QR code right right there. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Tiffany Glasgow says, I can definitely do whiskey. Shout out to all my whiskey drinking <laughs> women out there. All my whiskey drinking, cigar smoking, just having a good time women out there, man. You can have a good time with tequila and rum. I salute you. I'm drinking whiskey. Ken- yeah, yeah. Kenny Elliott says, your video is awesome. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you for hit- telling everybody to hit the th- uh, thumbs up. Cruise Buddy says, um, Terry, when you jumped in the pool on the Mass VV Cruise, that was the most <laughs> jealous moment of my life. <laughs> LOL, I wish I was there. I still have to go back and watch that. He honestly remember. still does not remember doing um, it. Stacy Q says, question, okay, so you're going to Africa? One day. One day soon. Damien says, LOL, no, that's not uh, why. <laughs> okay, so you didn't um, want, just want the shot glass. <laughs> uh, shout out to Leanne. Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Happy Hello. Sunday sip beat Zilla in the house. Uh, D Naturally 23 says, question, I'm heading on Virgin in May for a trip to Greece. What are some fun things I can spend my sailor loot on? I'll have $800 worth of loot. Holy cow. Um, I would say look at the excursions that are available. Get a tattoo. Uh, yeah, well, if you're into tax, <laughs> that, that will help or toward your tattoo. Or um, piercing. But look toward the excursions that are going to be available and kind of yes, spread that some, sailor loot out. Because um, they have some great excursions for Greece. Yeah, because it's not, I mean, you're not going to want to buy too much on the ship, but you can also use it for like your spa, mm-hmm. um, spa experience. and and Any of the shops. Yeah, different stuff like that. But definitely, um, if this is your first time going to Greece, start looking at the excursions and try to see how you can manipulate oh, it's in that, May, so that $800 you dollars it, worth yeah. of uh, sailor loot for that. Yeah, or if there's like an expensive cologne or something that you want, may have wanted, it it's on board. Stacy says, question A and T, favorite restaurant at sea, and which would you eliminate forever and why? Ooh, favorite restaurant. You need to go out, homie? Favorite restaurant at sea. Who could I go eat at again and again? I don't know, but I think a dog needs to go out. What's your favorite restaurant? At sea? Yeah. I'm thinking, Stacy, you may have stumped me. <laughs> um, current, currently, and this is always subject to change, I think for me would be Pink Agave on Virgin. Um, subject to change. That is the Mexican restaurant there. Uh, I, I, that, that, that is currently one of my it's favorites so next to 150 Central. 150 Central is good. On Royal Caribbean. That is my second. And those are the two that just come right to the top of my head. Where? Madero. Uh, I don't remember that That's one. Where we did the tasting. Oh yeah, Madero on Celebrity and restaurants that we cannot go back to. I would say uh, Ola Tapas on <laughs> MSC, and it may have changed since we were we were on when they first released Ola Tapas, and I think this is the right restaurant. And, the, the, and it was just too weird for me. The menu. 
uh, and once Addie comes back, I'm sure she'll she'll get me straighter if I'm talking about the right one. Was Ola Tapas the one with the weird menu when we were with Jim? And I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah so unless they change that, you can, you can delete Mexican. Ola Tapas from MSC for me. Yeah, they made it Mexican now. <laughs> oh, okay. So I mean, it pro- That's it's why probably they changed different. It. Yeah, but the original one, so I can't really say um, delete Ola Tapas then. Because they already changed it. Yeah. Um, I would say favorites... Like I said, Madero on Celebrity Silhouette and Ocean Key on MSC. Really good seafood. And Remy on Disney. Oh, yeah. But what would you throw away? Throw away. Hmm. I yeah, don't know. I like I like all the rest. Nah, there's some where we just <laughs> there's there's only, um, but Ola Tapas is not Ola Tapas anymore. It's Ola Mexica, or Olas Cantinas, which yeah, so. we actually love now. So they listened to us and did change it. Yeah, Stacy, well, let, let us think on that one and and come back to Who you on I what eliminate? we would eliminate forever, like not ever go back to. I would. I'm starting to think like pizza on Carnival. Yeah, we didn't eat any pizza on the last carnival. Like some of the pizza spots, I'm just like, eh, I'm, you know. There's only a few pizzas that we actually yeah. go eat. Because after you've had them for a while, you're just like, eh. Like they, they're there because that's normally what's left, but that ain't like a first choice. Yeah. Who would I wait? Are there any other restaurants? I can't think of any right off the top of my head. Let, let us think on that one. Yeah. Um, Eric Maxi <laughs> says, us. loved your Norwegian Prima video doing a 23-day back-to-back home to Manhattan and on to Bermuda. Want some bottled drinks. Those things were so good. Yeah, you're going to enjoy that one. You, 23 jealous. days? That's what I'm talking about. You going to ride the, 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 the go-karts to... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Getting out there in that life, man. Cruise Buddy says, my shot glass is on my desk in my home office Aww. area. Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, Rainy So Dope <laughs> says, first time watching because I overheard my mom listening. Y'all are amazing. She sent me the website. Thank oh, you. thank you. And welcome, Rainy So Dope, to the Sunday Sip. And thank you, Mom. And thank you, Mom. <laughs> we love y'all. Uh, Cruz Buddy says, question about the World America trip. Okay. Okay. What's the question, well, darling? Maybe the question's further down because there is no question attached to that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Carla says, but not New York. Uh, oh, <laughs> Tiffany says the water gives her anxiety. Okay, because it's so much. Yeah. Okay, so there are times where you will be looking out into the ocean and looking out into the horizon, especially during the day and especially at night, um, where you're going to feel very small. And at those points, that's where we just like to thank God and remember that we are a very small part in this giant world. And it's usually where Terry and I have a moment where we're both just silent and looking out at the water. And you could tell that we're both kind of doing our own little silent prayer. <laughs> it's actually pretty calming when you start, yes. to, to, you start to see it. Uh, you don't have to worry about there. There, there are no it's Titanic. So moments. There have safe. not been any Titanic moments since the Titanic. <laughs> and the one ship that. So um, safe. That, that was over 10 years. Yeah, yeah, over 10 years ago. That was there over was 10 any, years ago. Any issues. So you're not going to have to worry about mm-hmm. that. Uh, the cruise lines are pretty pretty responsible when it mm-hmm. comes to their their sailing routes once you cruise enough you'll start noticing that it's almost like an interstate in the water it really is they they're you, they, you will always have at least three or four cruise ships sailing along with each other uh-huh. they're just far, far enough, enough away, away. To where you can't see them so there's mm-hmm. always someone else out there uh and just they, in case they have meteorologists on board that can help plan tr- you know ways around Weather, weather, if there is any weather. So there's really nothing to worry about when it comes um, to the water and any issues like that. But I do understand the anxiety. That's how I was before we we <laughs> initially started cruising. And now 48 cruises later, um, you know, it's one of my my. We feel fa- we feel safer on a ship than we do on a plane. Yeah, yeah, man, because the planes get crazy. <laughs> right so it, there's no, there's I mean, Whew. if the water makes you nervous, I would say. There's so many activities on board that you will literally forget if you don't see, if you don't actually like look out onto the water. Yeah. You will forget that you're on a ship. You really will. And especially on the edge. So. Yeah. 
You good. You are good. Teresa T <laughs> says, I hope they add New York to their radar. I live in Florida now, but love sailing from my home state. I I don't, don't think, see, see VV going to I New York. I see LA, but Ver New York. I don't think they're going to um, go to New York. William Shelton says that San Juan crew sounds amazing. Come join us. Naomi B says flights for Greece. What advice do you have for booking and when do you suggest flying out and returning? Give yourself at least a day, a minimum day before sale date mm -hmm. so that your body can adjust just in case you do get some type of jet lag. Um, and so that you don't risk missing the ship. <laughs> yeah. We kind of live on the edge, and we'll plan our, our flights because we've kind of gotten used to we've it. We've gotten used but to if traveling to that you are a first-timer to going abroad, I would at least give your say, yourselves a day before your sail date mm -hmm. to get there. Mm -hmm. So, one, you can you can experience the, 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 country. the country that you're going yeah. into before you're sailing. Uh, and the same thing coming back. Now, we will just hop the first thing out once we Leave get back it. Yeah. when it's time to go back. But, but for Greece, take, we were there two days before. Yeah, if you're yeah. going to take that time, then I'd say take a day before and then a day after so you can really enjoy it and then mm -hmm. come on back home. Then yeah. you're not in a rush. As far as booking, whenever it's cheapest, I we usually set uh, alerts so that um, from either Google, fl uh, Google Flights or from Hopper or AirWatch to um, let us know when the flights are cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> so that's usually what we use to, see, for booking. Says, right, we need Virgin in New York now. They're not going to do it. Uh, Cruise Buddy <laughs> says, I was going to book it and couldn't figure out which week to do. Would you have activities that I need to book with you to participate in? The whole cruise. Which one is he talking about? If you're talking about... Uh, oh, World America. Yeah. If, if you're talking about World America, we will have those activities and whatnot closer to that sailing. Mm -hmm. One, because we got to make sure that the, the ship is still on schedule to be delivered. Because as you've probably noticed, if you've been following cruise lines lately, either ships can be pushed up early or they can be pushed back quite a bit. Uh, but when we get closer to that, uh, we will definitely be able to let you know on that or uh, any of the cruises that we do. Uh, we normally try to give out our cruise itineraries uh, after final payment. Mm -hmm. uh, because again, anything can change. Schedules can change. Somebody exactly. can rent out the ship. Uh, but a good a good gauge for us is after you've mm -hmm. made your final payment, and we know you are committed to that sailing. That's uh, when then we send out. We info. will send out information as to what we got planned and what's going on. Uh, Tiffany so you can get excited. Says Norwegian breakaway in May, Carnival celebration in November for my birthday. Oh, so you got two oh, cruises coming yeah, up. You, you girl, you you're you good. one, you're going on Norwegian. So two good, two good ships. You're going on two good ships. Two absolutely great ships. Um, so you will you you'll forget you're on on water. Yeah, you good. <laughs> Both of those are great ships. Yeah, you're gonna have a good time. You gotta let us know how you enjoyed it. Edward Strand, brother Strand in the house saying, Good evening, my sip family. Who's that leprechaun <laughs> sitting behind you, Terry? <laughs> Oh no, man. that's 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 Addy. Yeah, <laughs> Always good to see him hanging out with us. Uh, Cruise buddy says, "Oh man, I can't do the SAS next year either." Dang on accounting life. Aww. Hey man, we can we can we can have a conversation. Just 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 have us have a talk with Shout it. Shout out to Mr. Moneybag ZS for becoming <laughs> a member. You. Glad to have you being a part. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Carla G says, Terry low key rocking to Bollywood. <laughs> and not going to lie. He really did. <laughs> Maybe that's why my love of music that's is just international. Just international. Terry will play some of something. Yeah. Some of whatever. Open for like, or format like a mug. <laughs> uh, Cruise and travel adventures with Brian says, are you going on the panorama 14th through the 21 December? Not no. in the plan. Uh, is there some special going on? I know what's going on. Let us know. Uh, Q Creation says Addie is a true sipper. Is that the same drink from an hour ago? I know you're not <laughs> trying to joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, she threw a <laughs> shade. <laughs> it is gone. It is gone. <laughs> All they the shade. You out. They called you out. I am not a true sipper. Uh, Cruise and Travel <laughs> Adventures with Brian says, does the Panorama have a cigar lounge? No. no. The only ships at sea currently that have cigar, dedicated cigar lounges are going to be MSC and Norwegian. Cruise lines. You said yeah. ships. Cruise lines yeah, with ships. cigars. But yeah, but yeah, those two. 
I want to know here you go. Says I wanted to jump in the pool on Scarlet Night too, but I was afraid to lose my wig. <laughs> See, the thing with Scarlet Night is that's when you let all your inhibitions go. She said, I was scared to lose my I was holding up my jumpsuit. He kept trying to pull me in the water, but I, I, my jumpsuit was a little too big, so I, I couldn't. Uh, Teresa T says, question, I can't book SAS 25 before March, so no free bar tab for me, but can Sailor Suit be used for drinks? No. Technically, no, but you can use Sailor Loot to buy more bar tab. If that makes sense to you, <laughs> but you you can you can use Sailor Loot to buy anything, but you cannot use Bar Tab to buy anything. You, bar Tab is specifically for drinks. Sailor Loot is onboard credit, so you can use it to buy Bar Tab. Francesca McCorkle says we're also booking for Virgin for Valentine's Day next year. What are the theme nights, and what should we pack? Oh, great question. Uh, yeah, as we're not going on Valentine's Day cruise. Okay, so. Um, they don't really do theme nights. No. Um, what they do is the only theme night is Scarlet Night. Mm -hmm. And that's where you want to have your red. Red can be as formal. Oh, yes. Yeah, S. Um, so <laughs> it could be as formal or as casual as you want. Um, Scarlet Night, we've seen people in tank tops and shorts. We've seen people in togas. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen people in full all ball gowns and tuxedos. So it, as long as it's red, you are fitting the bill for as far as theme nights. Um, you should be able to look in your app and go through the day by day um, and see what is actually planned for your cruise. If you have something called studio 70, what is 72? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Studio 72 is their 70s slash 80s party. And um, we fancy, we just discovered on our last cruise, is their um, silver and gold or metallic party. So those are really the only three things that they really do as a theme. There aren't any white nights or whatever. And for the Studio 72, nobody really dresses up for that. <laughs> I think we've been on, we've been on nine cruises and we've only seen maybe one cruise where people were dressed up for the Studio 72 which is like the the disco era. Yeah. So um though though that's it. <laughs> yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, Kelly says, hello, best bar for premium drinks on Wonder of the Seas. Um, I would tell you to do either the schooner bar or mm -hmm. the mason jar. Mm -hmm. But definitely the schooner bar. Definitely a schooner bar. Uh, Sugar says, Rudy Gr Sea Grill was so good on the Carnival Celebration. That is a good one. That uh, is Cam a good one. Cam Lynn for the win, checking hey. in. Saying happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, Stacy says, question, would you recommend an all-inclusive or cruise for a further 40th birthday? Depends on what you want to do. Yeah, depends on what you want to do. If you're what going kind by yourself, yeah. if you're going with a handful of people, if you're going with a lot of people, and if you're trying to do it with a group of people who can afford to go with you on the cruise, who can go with you on the all inclusive. It depends what's what the airfare do. looking like. Yeah, yeah. It de yeah. So for that, yeah, it really it, it is really on depends you on what you and how you do. want to celebrate your birthday. and where you want to go. If yeah. you're trying to do Caribbean, or if you're trying to do the Med, or if you're trying to do something like Hawaii. Costa Rica, it really depends where you're trying to go. Yeah, I'm going to say cruise is always going to be more bang for your buck because, you know, food, drinks, entertainment, stuff like that normally always kind all of, included. But all inclusive. You kinda, get the same thing. It depends on if you're trying to visit more than one place. Yeah, that's it. That way. Whereas an all inclusive, you have excursions and everything, but they're in that one location. Location. Yeah. Um, so it depends if you're like to try, like I said, if you're trying to do Jamaica or Mexico or Costa Rica yeah. or something now, like going that, all Greece, inclusive. At an all inclusive? <laughs> That's completely different. I would say go for what you know. <laughs> for sure, go for what you know. Um, it, you know That's so, completely yeah. different. So That, that was going to be up to you. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Florida Cruisers in the house. Hey, What's going on? Glad to have you up in here. Uh, Tashandra Roberts says, question what cruise lines are best for solo cruisers? Oh, there's so many. Um, I know for certain that Norwegian has now upped their ante and made different types of cabins available for solo cruisers. Before, it was just solo studios where that were in the studio area that 
that they have on board. But now they have solo insides and solo balconies and solo ocean views. Thank you, Natasha. Natasha. Salute. Salute. Um, but now, yeah, like I was saying, now they have solo cabins for all different types of cabins, not just a solo studio in Norwegian. Virgin has solo cabins. Nor Royal does not, right? No. Royal does not have solo cabins. Um, but Virgin has solo cabins. They do still have the single supplement unless you are booking that solo particular cabin. But you can book any of their cabins as a solo. Um, that's about it. Yeah, with that said, uh, Norwegian and, the, and Virgin are your best cruise lines for solo cruisers. Yeah, mass yeah. market. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to the premiums and the yeah. luxuries. The catch username said eliminate mason jar. And that's actually what I was kind of thinking. I'm just trying to think of for drinks. I mean, they do. Mason jar is good drinks. for food. I mean, not, yeah, mason jar is good for drinks. For whiskey but and restaurant, bourbon, they do pretty good. That's we were safe. talking about specifically cocktails. But other than that, yes, Guna Bar, that's all you got. Uh, the Naturally 23 says, oh, I almost stuck. forgot to thank you for your video on the Splash of Romance package. I booked it for Greece, and I'm so excited. Thank mm. you. Thank you to everybody that has watched that video. And when, you, when we actually, I was talking with Stanley, um, because we are avid like students now of the tube. And when we were looking at analytics and stuff, it's amazing thank how many you. people, how many eyes have actually seen that video. And uh, gotten value from that video that's that's when we asked you guys like what do you want to see from us that really helps because we really um don't want to fall into just shooting stuff to be shooting stuff we want to be shooting stuff that's going to be relevant beneficial to you guys and if you're members and and as you start watching our community page over the next couple of weeks you'll notice we gonna that be asking y'all some stuff really starting to <laughs> drill down uh into what it is that you want because that's why we're here it doesn't matter Absolutely. what we're doing we'll show you how we get down but at the end of the day uh we want to have a, a channel that is a resource to you guys to help you uh, be able to book the best vacation uh that you can and especially if you're you're a couple uh, and you're in that period of life like we are, where our kids are, are grown now and we're kind of on our own and we're trying to figure out, well, what's that? What next is thing life? We want to do. Um, so, <laughs> you know, if you're a couple that you missed it because you were taking care of your kids growing up and now it's time to, to ball or you've been able to have a good balance, hopefully we'll become a good resource for you and for those um, that are looking to get to that stage. So that part. What he said. But I'm so glad you guys uh, watched that video. Yes, it makes us very happy. Uh, happy Joy says, any insight on the Carnival versus Royal or other cruise lines war amongst us melanated folks? I didn't know that there was it's a, a war. A you war. know it's a war. I think people make it a war. Like It's not that serious. Um, no, it really is. I think it really depends on what you like to do on a cruise. Yeah. Because some people like to go on carnival because one, that's all they know, and two, that's Same what they thing with royal. People that's just what go they on see because that's where they started. That's where they go. That because that's what they've seen, and they think, okay, this is where we should be cruising. As far as what you like to do on the cruise, carnival is the fun ship. That's what they are known for. They are known for their parties. They are known for what they do on the deck party and thing like that. But we have also seen royal. Get down with the get down. Yeah. So it really just determines, it's really what you like to do. I'm going to say one of the realest statements that I think anybody has said when it comes to, to that. You got to keep in mind that minorities are a very, very small part of the cruising community. That part. And the fact that we bring, how can I put it this way? Our dollar. Even in the content creating space, there's somewhat of a bit of segregation there because like gravitates to like. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that um, as, a, as a country, as, as communities, we have this thing where we're always trying to pit this versus that instead of just enjoying what's available and what's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, so when I said that I don't think there is a cruise line war amongst that, it's what you like. At the end of the day, it's what you're going to spend your money on. Mm -hmm. It's what, what, what pulls at your heartstrings that you want to do. Uh, and it should matter who's on the ship. You're going for you and your enjoyment and your peace of mind. So exactly, go if you feel comfortable with 
what you assume are other like-minded people or, or don't. Uh, but I, I really hate seeing that uh, people are looking at it as, as a war and there's like this hidden agenda going on in the cruise industry. It's just that if you, if you were working for the cruise lines, and I know there are some people on here right now that do, they can tell you that it's just a matter of um, numbers. And thank you, Mickey's Adventures. At the end of the day, it, you can t- you you see demographics. Even in my career, in my job in in broadcast, we have certain formats for certain demographics. Mm-hmm. So we know from a number standpoint where things are, how many people are participating in this, how many people are participating in that, and cruise lines do the same thing. They oh, of know course. Where the dollars are coming for, for their brand, thus, that's where they're going to focus their marketing dollars on. If you were a business owner and you were doing the same thing, you would focus you your focus resources where you're gonna on get the money. where you're going to get the most return, the mm-hmm. biggest lift. So I hope we can get to a point where people aren't looking at it as a, a us versus them or that cruise line versus this cruise line. Because it's a vacation. Like at the end of the Absolutely. day, it's literally a vacation for you to go and enjoy, relax, unwind, experience, uh, see new things, mm-hmm. enjoy things with your family and your friends. Um, and, and if that if that offends somebody and, and if you feel like, oh, man, I thought Terry and, and Addie were down and that, that runs you away. I'm sorry. Uh, but we just we just we, go, we don't see that. No. When we bring you our content. Which and it, when we're on cruises, we're very inclusive of everybody, all. whatever. Th- that's how God wanted it. Exactly. I'm sorry. And and that's how I'm always going to be. So if you're melanated, non-melanated, if you uh, choose this lifestyle over that lifestyle, I'm going to love you just the same. Because we at love the you end of the day, of who you are, I, I'm not on this earth to judge anybody or anything. Lest Mm-mm. ye be judged. OK, now I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to move on. No, no. I have one last thing to say on that note. All right. We have cruised so many different cruise lines and on every single cruise line. We have been comfortable, yeah. regardless of what who what denomin not denomination, but what nationality was on board and 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 what we are. And you're gonna see some foolishness because you there's will, some you're foolish always people going out there. to see foolishness. But we have felt comfortable on every single cruise that we have been on, even ones that we thought were going to be questionable. <laughs> yeah. We're actually some of our most fun cruises. So, <laughs> right. That being said. Having sailed almost all of the major cruise lines, it's not about who's on board. It's about what type of vacation you are trying to go have. That way. So if you're going to turn up, then go on a cruise line that's known for turning up. If you're going to relax, then go on a cruise line line that's known for for relaxing. If you want to be here. Adventurous. If you want to go see the, the animals and the dolphins. Go see one that's known for the the wildlife. But at the end of the day, we work too hard for the dollars that we're spending to be hung up on foolishness. Absolutely. All right. Stacy says that Splash Romance has me intrigued also. It's a great package, y'all. Sugar says I always <laughs> bring my snorkeling gear. I feel safe. Awesome. Uh, Walter Saunders says, do you think um, you should build a Vista class plus ship, 150,000 tons? Okay, so a class bigger than the Vista, but smaller than the XL, Hmm. that could be a winner. Could be. That could be a winner because we like the Vista classes and we like the XL classes. So if there was a class right in the middle, Mm -hmm. sure. Catchy username (laughs) says, same, Addie. I feel closest to God on the water and at the beach. There's something downright spiritual about a sea day with nothing else in sight. Isn't it? The moment you just sit on the beach or sit on the beach or you're sitting on your balcony or sitting on the deck and you're just looking out and all you see is the sky and water. Yeah. Oh, Deja (laughs) Marie says question. Would you guys ever do a trans Pacific Atlantic group cruise? If that's something y'all would want to do. (laughs) (laughs) Right. If that is something that we get a good response for, absolutely. Because we have yet to do a Trans-Pacific or a Transatlantic. Right. Um, I would love it because I love a sea day. Um, Where we're going, is that the Pacific? No, 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 no. It's not the Pacific. It is the Pacific. That is, that's like, oh. It's almost. But it's not a trans. It's it's not trans. But it is. 
It's Pacific. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, we if that is something that y'all would want to do, it would have to be 2026 because holy cow, y'all killing me with 2025. <laughs> uh, Stacy says, question, any family cruises this summer with the kids? Not nah. that, not in the plans as of yet, because yeah. they are some busy little individuals. Yeah, they're working. <laughs> like, I, don't I, think... I would have never thought we would got to a point where we would not be able to take yearly vacations oh, together, but it's literally gotten to the point where it's they hard. They so are so I'm going to have to busy. work it into their contract that, you know, they just tell their boss at the end, at every year I have to go on this with my family. I'm sorry. Period. Point blank. Cheryl Merrill says, I want to go on a cruise because of the water I would want to sit on my balcony and look at it being around a lot of people would give me anxiety <laughs> that that's me <laughs> chris crossing says question is the double tree on biscayne bay in miami a good hotel to stay in for one night if it fits your budget yeah yeah we, we've not we've not stayed there so <laughs> I, we, we yeah we wouldn't have say. any insight on that but um Look at the room. All I can say, because I'm really particular when it's it comes to, to hotels, uh, just make sure you read re read the reviews and see if it fits what you're used you to. You used to. Yeah. For Terry, the hotel, even if it's for one night, has to have a bar and has to have a restaurant. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, and great ratings and access to a lot of good stuff. It has to be in the middle of everywhere. And yeah, so those those are his musts. Yeah. And so far in Miami, the Moxie, is it the Moxie? Oh, yeah, the Moxie. I'm going to put y'all on. Just Google Moxie. Yeah. Thank me later. That's his if new you get, All favorite. I'm going to say is if you're going out on a trip out of Miami, go to the Moxie. Just it's a great deal. Thank me later and tell them that you, I sent you. <laughs> Want to know, here you go, says that Cheryl, I just started having anxiety during the pandemic. I've been on 26 cruises with anxiety since 21. The whiskey does help. <laughs> Uh, Q Creation <laughs> says, Cheryl, sail on Margaritaville at sea. Their ships be looking kind of empty. Oh, my God. <laughs> Carla says, I'm Don't torn on 25 because I know Cuba is coming. I know, baby. I know. Mickey's Adventure says, Addie, I love the green hat. Thank you. Who Paul says, hello, everybody from Mass. Hope Hi. everybody's well. How is Massachusetts? Brother Womax in here saying, don't forget about the pajama party. Not exactly a theme night, oh, but yeah, it is yeah, yeah. like Okay, true. I forgot about that. So, yeah. True. If you plan to do the, but see, that's, it's always the first night. And some people don't make it that far. Yeah. <laughs> because, because they're so all tired. The, all the champagne <laughs> during the, the sail away. So, yeah. So, if you make it to the pajama party, then yes, pajamas for yeah. The pajama party on the first night of Scarlet. I All mean, right. first night of we gotta, Virgin. We gotta run through these chats. Oh yeah, we're it's seven o'clock already. Stacy says, "Question: What's your most memorable cruise port you've visited?" Um, for me, that is going what? to be Greece. The best port? Yeah, best port. Ooh, that was. What was it called? For 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 Greece? Mm -hmm. My birthday. Mykonos? Mykonos, yeah. Mykonos. I keep all these. I see, I get it confused between Malta because I love Malta too. And I um, love my have you noticed all my favorite start with an M. Port start with an M. Mazatlan, <laughs> Mykonos, <laughs> and, and Malta. And Malta. Dang, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> Let's get Terry more whiskey so he can have more revelations. <laughs> no, that ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just saying. I just it literally just clicked. Mazatlan, Malta, and and Mykonos. Mykonos. Yeah. I'll start with it. Mykonos is great. Um, I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Where was my most memorable? Oh, memorable. Memorable, memorable cruise port. That's then, why I yeah. said Mykonos. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Mykonos is the most memorable. Yeah. When we release that video, <laughs> you'll understand why. Yeah. Uh, William Shelton <laughs> says, I'm thinking about volunteering for the video recording job for Sisterhood Cruise because y'all had a ball on Celloway last year. I mean, but do your guy. Yeah. <laughs> William. <laughs> Ariam Womack says, also for those of y'all on the back pews, come to the altar and ring that doorbell. Yes, Thank we you. have 267 of you here right now. Thank you so we much. Have, we almost had 300 and then, but I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for everybody that's here. so much uh, for Mickey's being here. Adventure says Schooner Bar. Yes. Schooner Bar. Natasha L, thank you for that super chat. Let me go ahead and drop some some dollars on her right here. I need a, a, a button that I can fire off to drop them dollars. Drop dollars. There we go. Uh, she says, considering a back-to-back -back on Utopia of the Seas for 25 with a total of seven days all together on the ship. Do you guys recommend it? Yes. 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 Because if it's anything like Wonder, 
you're going to want seven days. So if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of wonder, but a little bit, a of, little icon. bit of icons. So yeah, do you're that. Go, you're going to want seven days to experience the whole ship. And if you are thinking about doing the Utopia, now that they've moved the sale date up because it's a weekend ship, so why not start on the weekend? How many of you have booked the inaugural for Utopia? Let us know down in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Elvis says, hi, Addie and Terry. <laughs> Enjoying your show. Thank you. Thank um, you. Cruise and Travel Adventures with Brian says, the 14th through 21st of December will be our first cruise, and my stepdaughter will turn 18 where we're in Mazatlan. Do you know she, if she will be able to drink while in port? Yes. Yes. Um, for Mexico, it is at the parents' discretion. <laughs> yeah. And even on um, the and, ship, you can check with... They uh, consider 18 in port to yeah. be legal age. So, yeah, she can have a shot for her birthday. Yeah. Melba Sampson says, going to the Bahamas April 8th through 12th in three weeks, hand pink waving. Oh, then Melba, you will welcome to the Sunday ship. the Bahamas. We absolutely love the Bahamas. Good, the, good food. The Queen 8 says, hello, have you been on the Icon of the Seas? Um, well, yeah. we know that you're new to the channel, and we <laughs> welcome you. Uh, go check out our, our YouTube channel, and you will see hello. Um, that, yes, we have welcome. been on the, we were on the inaugural sailing of the Icon of the Seas. But welcome to Queen 8. Uh, Cruise Buddy says, Royal has solo ones on the older ships, I think. DNQ, confirm uh, that for us. Eric Maxi says, have a solo balcony booked on the not yet built Norwegian Aqua in 25. That is a ship. We also have a cruise for a group cruise for that one. Yeah. But um, that one, I cannot wait because yeah. it's a sister to the Prima, which we absolutely loved. But without the go karts, but with a big giant water slide. Loop. Yeah. Oh, my Cruise God. buddies say few and far in between. Yes. Uh, Mickey's Adventures, thank you for your super chat. We're going to drop some dollars for <laughs> you as well. Uh, dollars, do you dollars. think Cuba will be reopened for cruising? That is a purely political question. Ed, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I. It has nothing to do with the cruising industry. Yeah. It has absolutely nothing to do with everything um, with politics. the cruise company, but pure politics yeah because that's the only reason why it stopped what's up travel with gail sugar Hi, says gail. i go anywhere great food and good drink package good price i heard regina says well <gasps> said thank you very much thank you guys for two that. traveling capricorns what's going on it's 1960 oh lord here we go caps in the house James Fernandez says the competition has been always high, but mm -hmm. I think Royal is becoming very carnival lately, I think. Not the same as Royal was 10 years ago. James Ooh. Fernandez, first off, welcome to the Sunday Sip. Welcome. Glad to have you here as well. And I agree with you we, on that. Yeah, uh, current blah, words. Yeah. Royal is not the same Royal that they were 10 years ago. Yeah. But carnival is not as well. That is true. He also says, meanwhile, excited for the upcoming MSC World America. It's getting into shape in France. I know. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. So excited. Gina's World says, book splash romance on Mass 2.5 and your video clinched it for me and it was worth every Isn't it? penny. Isn't it? It's uh, such a great deal. S.E. Wooldridge, Wooldridge Wakefield also <laughs> sounds like a new name. Welcome to the Sunday Sip. Says, I just got back from cruise on the Wonder. I don't have a lot to compare it to, but we had a blast. It's That's all that matters. Carla says, I'm going where I'm going to have a good time. If I can afford it, I'm booking it. <laughs> that said, Kelly that says way. that part. That uh, way. Davia says, speak on it, Terry. Let's embrace diversity. Love you guys. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Damien and Quanda says, great answer. Enjoy the money you spend. Cindy Thank says, you. it's your money. Spend it your way. Exactly. Uh, Don says, absolutely. Y'all summed that up perfectly. Uh, Teresa T said, Carla agreed 100%. Thank you, guys. I, I You know, I'm going to always. You know, he got to get on his soapbox every now and then. But yeah, every well, now so and then. 100 because you know we have these conversations he, on and off 100. camera with people That's and it's just like you know at the while it's like come on guys are we going on vacation that's what i'm saying are y'all on some other like it's what it's, other it's, agenda it's you it's got the way for of vacation the world. Yeah. it's the way we're in a political year I <laughs> and i'm in broadcast so y'all can y'all y'all think y'all get it <laughs> I get he it. gets. I, I mean, every four years for his during the the political years for his. And I'm part of the the the, the White House press council. A lot of people don't so know that as well. He hears <laughs> so much. I, I I get it. I I literally get it. Like yeah. Oh my god. And when we lived in Ohio, oh my 
Oh, God. All right, let's get back to work. Uh, James <laughs> says Carnival Fleet is getting better while Royal is focusing too much on sales lately. Oh, they mm. all are. They all are. I see, some people are, are are paying attention. They all are. Stacy says sea days are the best. So I love relaxing. a sea day. That's why I would love a transatlantic because you get like four sea days. Yeah. On the go with YOLO. What's up? We ain't seen you hey, in a minute. Boo. Happy Sunday watching from the TV, but had to say, well, said Terry, enjoy your vacay. Thank you very Thanks. much. Uh, Crew Creation says at James Fernandez, that's hard to believe with Royal Caribbean's newer ship prices. That could be that way with the older ship, which I can see happening. Oh, when he says sales, he doesn't mean like a like a bargain. Yeah. He means like money in their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Burrell says, I may have missed this, but quantum class ships have solo cabins. I'm a little behind on the live. Oh, no. That's okay. why I asked D&Q. D&Q, y'all confirm. Yeah, thanks for that, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Confirm. We haven't sailed everything, so yeah. we don't know everything. And, and <laughs> he's the only one that has sailed Quantum. I haven't spelled, sailed Quantum yet. Let's see. Florida Cruiser says, question, did you hear that J.J. Cruz will be living on a cruise ship? Would you live on a cruise ship? Yes, yeah. we did hear. We did hear. And, and yes, yes, we, we would. would. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, we told our kids when we get to a certain age that, that we you know, do not want to do a you, retirement home. If you get home. tired of us and you don't don't send us away, just put us on a ship. We'll be There's happy. There's no retirement home and, necessary. And, and, and it's economically better. better. Yeah. Lakeisha T, what's up, girl? Says, I feel so at peace staring out at the ocean. Yes. Mickey's Adventure says, Transatlantic Cruise is awesome. I did too, and looking forward to doing a Trans-Pacific Cruise. Soon. Okay, so question for those of you that have done Transatlantic and a Trans-Pacific. Oh, but we need to co close down. So, okay, so quick question, because <laughs> it's 10 after. <laughs> quick question. So is the Transatlantic smoother than a Trans-Pacific? And where does the Trans-Pacific go? I know one we ain't doing. <laughs> Whatever Terry that don't want to do. On the Drake package. Pack. <laughs> As you take a shot, you miss saying a word. <laughs> the Drake passage. Drake passage, passage is Antarctica. That's oh, that's okay. Antarctica, which is a whole nother thing. Would y'all cruise to Antarctica? That's another thing. <laughs> Get your shot glasses on our website, <laughs> or I believe you can click down below in 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 the shop. <laughs> You can get your shot glass Walter there. Saunders <laughs> says, yes, on the in-between size, carnival ships are between 70 to 130 tons to 180 tons. There's around 150,000 yeah. tons. So, yeah, absolutely. I think this, and Terry said, we said this in the SIP two weeks ago, that if Carnival and Royal both, but specifically Carnival, scrap the old ships and just make newer, smaller ships, Carnival at this point could literally sell all their old fleet to Margaritaville at sea and Margaritaville at sea could come up. <laughs> but yes, do away with their smaller ships and rebuild the smaller ships or that smaller class so that they are able to go under the bridges, but have the new modern technology uh -huh. and the new modern designs, mm -hmm. not from mm -hmm. the 80s and 90s. Like Elsa said, let it go. I think let it, it go. but you need smaller ships. Let we need go. some small ships. Build new ones. That's what I just said. Oh, okay. James <laughs> Fernandez says that Crew Creations <laughs> icon is so overpriced and we all know it. It is I it is overpriced, Walter but Sa it is it is a fun ship. Walter Saunders says, "Sorry, there's nothing around 150,000 tons with the Carnival." No, there isn't. William Shelton says, "Can't go wrong with the Marriott either." Uh, Linda Jackson says, I love the double tree on Biscayne Boulevard. It works for me. I stay there before my cruise or the Marriott next door. See, there we go. Thank you, Sippers. Mickey's Adventure says, I love the Mykonos. Mykonos is a vibe. James says, Mykonos is a party island. I not can confirm the, that. Well, during the... Well, uh, it is a yeah, party it's island. a party island. I was going to say not during the day, but yeah. <laughs> S.C. Wilders Wakefield says, you should make cocktails and name them those M names. Ah. Hmm. Stacy says, dang, Addie still didn't get he her button He didn't give back. me no buttons. <laughs> Y'all know he don't give me no buttons. Y'all ain't supposed to be paying attention like that. Y'all know he don't give me no buttons because I would go crazy with Ken my Hill buttons. Ken Hill says, Utopia in November 4 night. That's nice. Want to know, here you go, says, Utopia, July 29th and August 19th, both comps. Oh, my God. Y'all are some serious gamblers. Carla G says, <laughs> Utopia in September. Y'all hey, go. If, if one of y'all like that is out there doing that, that cruise carnival, uh, cruise 
casino life. <laughs> like, get it out. Hit Come me on. up. I'll roll with you if you could get me in the game. I will roll with you. Just hit me up. That is awesome. Uh, Carly, you're going on Utopia? The Queen 8 says, I'm new. Shout out to the Queen 8. Hi, Welcome to the, the Queen. Sunday Sip. We, we figured because you, you asked about Icon. Yeah. Uh, J- James Fernandez says, what do you think about the seventh Oasis ship? Too many mega ships out there already or not so ever? I think it's too much, but I know what they're thinking. Yeah. They are trying to put an Oasis class ship in every major city. And to deter people from doing all inclusives. Yeah. They're yeah. they're focusing on um competition. Yeah. And for Royal right now, competition is an all inclusive. Yeah. So they're trying to put one in every major city. So look for an all inclusive coming to LA. Not at all inclusive, an oasis coming to LA, an o- oasis coming to New York, Galveston, all around Florida. So that's why they're doing so many of the same class of ship because they want to cover all the majors. And of course we don't have any insider knowledge as it's just all of our opinion. Our speculation. That's what we think. Linda says, yes, there are some rural ships with studio cabins for solo cruisers. Okay. There you Shout go. Shout out to Faith Leach in the house. What's going on? Hey, boo. Carolyn says she's going on the Utopia in September Oh my God. Well. Are y'all going at the same time? Uh, it's a cruise life. What's up, people? Hey, guys. Signing hey. in from the UK. Welcome. Oh, my God. Is it like 11 o'clock there? Welcome to the Sunday Sip. Glad <laughs> Thank to have you. you guys join us as always. <laughs> we uh, love Elaine our UK says, peeps. All you sisters out there, join us on Sisterhood at C2024. I don't know what you're waiting for. Sugar says, I have a solo cruise New Year's Eve 25 on Norwegian Aqua Cruise. I'm glad I booked it because all, all the, the solos, solos have sold out. out. Yeah, all the solos is sold out. Marilyn B, welcome back. She says, hey. I made to another live. I'm a moderator for another YouTube channel. Just finished. Not a travel channel. LOL. A&T are so fabulous. Thank much, you, much love. Boo. And because you did that, man, let me give you the horn. Thank you, Marilyn B. Glad to have you up in here. Thank you. Uh, Carla G says, I low-key rock Bollywood <laughs> music too. Y'all ain't gonna let that go, are you? If I like something, it really doesn't matter what other people think. I'm the same way. I rock all music except this is going to offend some Cruise people. and travel Country. adventures with Brian says, Terry, you should do a brotherhood cruise. He does. I have. He and does. we're planning the second planning one. Planning the second one. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, Christy Baker says, mommy always told me there had to be one of us everywhere. So if you're it, so be it. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Damien and Quanda. Damien, check it the solo info. Thank you. Because I know there's got to be some solos on Royal. Shout out to Blair's Lounge in the house. Hello, family. Love y'all. Have a good evening. Love hey. you right back. Burr, 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 burr. Francesca McCorkle says, Carnival is offering a transatlantic on the Mardi Gras next year to Spain. Okay. Oh, interesting. Cynthia would do Antarctica. And Cynthia down for Antarctica. I am so wanting to do Antarctica. We have it confirmed. There Solo we go. Solo rooms are available on Quantum Ovation Anthem and Harmony. I there believe. we go. There you go. go. Straight I, from the source. I knew there was some solos on Royal. Straight from the I source. Just go ahead and get screen, it wrong. screenshot that so you remember. <laughs> Solo rooms so, are available on Quantum Ovation Anthem and Harmony. Okay, so we got uh, we Norwegian, believe. we got Virgin, and now these. And now the Quantum, the Ovation, the Anthem, and the These for Harmony. Royal. That's for you solo peeps. Yeah, that way. Uh, da, 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 da. Mickey's Adventure says Trans-Pacific. I haven't done it, but I've seen a few going between Australia and Hawaii. Okay. Uh, David and Kwanda says they are typically booked first, though. Yeah, that's why I'm. Yeah. That's why I hardly ever know if they have them because I never see them. Mickey <laughs> says that is on Royal Caribbean. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Carla says, uh, Carolyn, I'll be doing Sisterhood at C24, heading to Orlando, and then going on Utopia. Kelly Linda just asked says, a question. I'll be on Glory as of May 13th through 17th. Utopia, September 13th through 16th. And Mardi Gras, the week of Thanksgiving. Mardi Gras is a great ship for Thanksgiving. Shout out to Wendy Melendez coming in all the way from Orlando, Florida. Orlando. Welcome to the Sunday Sip. Glad to have you here with Welcome. us. Welcome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. On the go with YOLO says, yes, I love a good casino offer. Mostly how I sail. What's up, KB? Can't Glad to have it. you in the house. I hope your son enjoyed himself on his first trip out. We had a conversation. You know what I'm talking about. Let me know. Aww. Hit me up, and I, I want to hear. I want to hear all the good news. Aww. Walter Saunders says, "I heard Royal scrapped a four freedom class a few years ago." Hmm. Yeah, they did. Uh, KB says, "Celebrating 17th months He's of membership, celebra- second brotherhood win, and what year?" Um, there were some brothers that wanted it to happen. They want it now. <laughs> 
Uh, but we are looking for uh, the next Brotherhood at C25. Yes. Uh, so be One stay a year. tuned. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Or until the demand gets to where we need to have more. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um, really, I got to plan that one out. Uh, <laughs> Stacy says, Addy's sound effects are <laughs> taking <laughs> me out. Uh, Deja Marie <laughs> says, definitely down for the Arctic or Antarctica. See? Okay. Now, here's the thing. For Antarctica, do y'all know? You have to do the Drake's Passage. <laughs> Drake's Passage is the one where people be sliding side to side. Put me on the team's call for that one. <laughs> Cruise Buddy says, are you two doing the Prince's Son? The Sun Princess? We would we would love to. We, we see that Princess and Princess, if there's somebody out there that's affiliated with the cruise line or watching and listening, we would have liked to look, have look, been look, look, part look. of the... I'm going to do my pretty face. We would have liked to have been part of the... Um, <laughs> Uh, the selective group that got a chance to go out and experience we your to be media. cruise line, considering I am literally media and we do have a vlog, hint, hint. But no, we uh, we are thinking about it. Um, but no. Yeah, I'm sorry. As I of right shade, now. I had to. Uh, but as of right now, it's not on the radar. But it is, on, it is on the radar, but we don't. We not gotta, anytime soon. Yeah, we got to we got to fit, fit it, it in. into the carnival but there is one cruise line right now that i am like 1000 percent down for and shout out to them you know who you are cruise buddy says have you ever done princess at all yes yes we have we um, did it right before the pandemic the world shut down <laughs> right before the pandemic and it was one, one of our of favorite cruises favorite yeah cruises absolutely um, western uh mexico yes mexican um, riviera mexican riviera mazalan los cabos uh puerto Vallarta. best cruise yeah enjoyed it super relaxing best beds ever and if you are ever able to cruise with a uh, princess in that whole medallion class yeah that thing is a whole different world oh shout out to sashandra <laughs> roberts she says thanks for the confirmation on the solo cabin we knew our, our mr icon would come to the rescue that's what we're here for <laughs> Uh, Davia Morris's question. I'm usually yes. a Norwegian girl. However, seeing all your coverage about Icon of the Seas has me fiending for a run on the Star of the Seas in 26 with the family. Any advice? Start saving your coins now. There you go. <laughs> that price is not going to change. Start saving your coins now, especially for the family. Yeah. Get, um, get in now if you can. It is a great ship. And if you can buy now, because right now it is for sale now, give us a call or yeah. hit me up in the email. But um, it is for sale now, but start saving your coins. I would say if you can put down the deposit now and then make payments because um, it is worth it, but it is, it, it's the, the coins is there. Yeah. Unfortunately, they want their money. Them ships, them <laughs> ships, you got to pay for You got to pay for it. Uh, Damien Aquana says, well, you don't, you don't have, have to, to do, do the, the trick. trick. But you can't. I think everyone going to Atlantica, Antarctica should do the trick. You said Atlantica. Atlantica. <laughs> Atlantica. Yes. That's Welcome. a new island. That's going to be the name of my album. Welcome to Atlantica. <laughs> Cynthia Lipsy says, I know Addy. Let's do it. I am so down. Mickey's Adventure says, yes, Drake Passage for Antarctica. Would we'll love to do it. See? Good luck to y'all. I love y'all. Let me know how it works out. <laughs> Terry's Cruise like, I am say, not. <laughs> I love princes. You know they have some TA options. I'll email you. Oh, yes. We, we, we know. Want to know? Here you go. Thank says, you. I just found out today that princes will match your casino offers. Hoping to get the Sun Princess comped. Oh, nice. Uh, Damien and Quanda says, options excluding Drake on Silver Sea. <laughs> KB says, yes, my son is loving Disney, but he said the Yay. long, super long. He didn't have time to get on the Tower of Terror. He comes home Tuesday, man. I'm Aww, glad to hear that. that really glad awesome. to hear that. Uh, John Marshall says, okay, folks, let's get those likes up. Really appreciate Y'all got like nine minutes before we cut out because Addie is hungry. It's a cruise life says we want to <laughs> sell on Sun Princess next year. We, we do, do too. too. We do too. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stacy says, question, are y'all getting on the Norwegian pride of America? I'm still guessing your upcoming cruises. Stacy always be in reading oh, yo, between you, you the lines. No she always be reading between the lines and looking for, uh, 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 whatchamacallit. It's almost where I think I'm not even going to let y'all know where we are until, <laughs> until we get we're there. there. But, um, no, it's not the pride of America. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not the pride of America. But I do, I, I consider the pride of America for a sisterhood at sea. If, if, if that is a possible that my ladies would want to do for 2026, let me know because I would love to go to Hawaii. We move it up like George and Wheezy over I here. I would love to do Hawaii as a sisterhood at sea if you guys are interested. 
D and Q, we're still ready too. We let's, still ready uh, too. Let's, let's lock that Y'all date ain't down said nothing but a word. Before my coins get empty. Look, we couldn't do Denver, but we could certainly still play in that. Angela <laughs> says, loved your video showing what you did on St. Thomas. Can't wait to do some Thank things you. that are more history based. Oh, then stay tuned. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Carly G says, <laughs> Addie wants her own continent, there Atlantica. <laughs> Kind of why I love you. We're going to make that a shirt. That's a t-shirt. Welcome to Welcome Atlantica. To- <laughs> the, 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 the land Addie and Terry built. Atlantica. Welcome to Atlantica. <laughs> you got to say it like Luda. Or not Luda, like Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> <laughs> Cruz Buddy says, I'm doing the Sun Princess for Thanksgiving. Did you oh, see fun. how they're trying to tap into a younger audience to become more family friendly? Yes, yes, that is their aim with the Sun. Everybody's doing that right That's now. That's their aim with the Sun Princess. Stacy yes. says, I've been gone for a minute, but I'm coming in. You hot are. Tonight. You coming in with the questions, baby? <laughs> That's why we love you, Stacy. Uh, Carla says, NCL sounds good. We love you. Uh, Katie says, Question This brotherhood, are y'all considering summertime 25? That is totally up to him. Yes. Uh, Pam Hill <laughs> says, question, how easy it is to catch an Uber Lyft after the barking a Virgin Voice cruise? Totally easy. They have an actual area. An area just, just for, Ubers for Ubers and, and Lyfts. Lyfts. Yeah. <laughs> it's super, super easy. Super easy. Super easy. Within five minutes. Yeah. Uh, Mickey's Adventure says, Pride of America is only Hawaii. That yes. is correct. That's Aaron what I'm saying. S says, I'm down Hawaii. Okay. And Teresa T says, Pride of America, Sisterhood at C26. Sounds okay. great to I me. I will start researching. And with that, we have come to the end <laughs> of the chat, which means we have come to the end of this week's Sisterhood at... Uh, now, see, I was, well, they got, now I'm thinking, <laughs> sister. We've come <laughs> to the end of this week's Sunday What ship. in the world? <laughs> yeah, man. The end of the Sisterhood at C. Yeah, let's see there. Okay, so I will start planning. <laughs> that's that black eye. That's that's he's had way too many shots. St. Patty's Day. Sydney says, "What about Regent?" <laughs> you froze. <laughs> we broke him. <laughs> I'm like, what? We broke him. Okay. Regent is 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 is. It's and we 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 it's we, a curiosity. We, it's a curiosity. It's a curiosity. It's a curiosity. But that's not it. But that's not what we're doing. If you want to travel like us, you can contact us below. You I see it at Addie and Addie at Terry.com. Terry at Addie.com. If you want to find out what our upcoming group cruises and cruises are, you can go to Addie and Terry.com. And you can definitely uh, go to the Come With Us page. And that's where you're going to find all our upcoming trips. Um, to everybody that are members, you will start seeing in the next couple of days uh, as we revamp and roll out our new new updated uh, membership tier. Yes. Now that we have some time and we're back home and we can focus on our members and <laughs> he's our He's honestly videos. not drunk. No. He's, he's not drunk. <laughs> I wish. As a matter of fact, when I get off, I'm about he's to gonna make, make him another shot. <laughs> two or three more. But um, I already sent out um, the Facebook the Facebook group, the private Facebook group to I've the seen members. I some people in that, yeah. So, is that an Isley Brothers? Atlantica. <laughs> is that an Isley I, Brothers? I love, an Isley Brothers album. I love y'all. But if you are a member of uh, our Tier 2 or higher or uh, or a Patreon member of Tier 2 or higher, you have received an in, uh, invite or the link for our private Facebook group. If you wanted to become a member, please go check out our members. Click the join button and see what the membership option is available for you. And you will get all that great information because we are going to tone in and and, and fine tune yeah. all that good stuff. And we're going to be more active with our members and patrons because we love you for supporting us for as much as you have. And if you just joined us, we love if you go ahead and check out all of our content. Share it, everybody, even if you've Share. been here with us. Uh, and share it. Uh, Ash F, we have memberships through YouTube and, and Patreon. Patreon as well. Uh, and uh, man, just as always, we couldn't do this and we wouldn't do this without each and every one of you. Uh, we are looking forward to helping you craft your dream vacation. Shout out to all my couples out there. We love you. Have a blessed week. Be safe. Until next weekend, uh, y'all. Be safe and be good. We love y'all. God bless.